Second is private time. They literally use the phrase private time, Larry. I've sent you the document. I don't know if you read it, the the bar I, I read the, the, the relevant portion. I was just scrolling through because it was like super late last night. And I, I found the, the Judge de Thomas's portion. Here's my favorite part. You ready for this? Here, mm -hmm. let me pull it up. Or if you want to pull it up for your audience so that they know where we're at. I'm on page. Brad uh, has my mouse, so you pull it oh, up. Oh, okay. I'll pull it up. If I got you, you. Yes, I can. It's right here. Um, present, share screen. Boom. Okay. But you're going right. to have to add it. Yeah, I can, I can add it. There we go. Okay. All right. So uh, full screen mode. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me let me let me try this again. Sorry, I have to do it backwards. It, the new Adobe just does not integrate well with. Um, here we go. Streamyard. That's what's up. Here we go. Look at this. So this is where they mentioned the Thomases. Can you add it back on the screen? Oh yeah. What? Where did it? Go? Sorry, I, I I removed it. Oh, it was my, there we go. It was okay. my fault. Okay. So there it is. This is what both Chandler and I, when we read this, we're like, what the actual fuck? On cross, on cross examination, it was made clear that attorney De Thomas's has previously served on the grievance committee for at least two terms and is a certified CLE, continued legal education. We have to have 12 credits here in Kentucky and other lawyers, other states have, you know. Uh, continue legal education lecture on ethics and professionalism. Oh. This motherfucker has been teaching ethics and professionalism. Are you kidding me? And also, then he, look what he said sorry. about him. Go ahead. Look what he, he look, keep reading. Go ahead. Yeah. Also on cross, the Thomas has made it clear that just because he entered a plea does not mean his innocence can be excluded. He just did it because he wanted to move on with his life. Are no, you kidding me? Later in the document, he admits it. So how in the hell does he get away with saying that? And why would he do it when the guy is admitting doing it and going to therapy for it? Yes. What? But They're look protecting what else he each said. other. It's slime look protecting slime. Mr. DeThomas has further stated, I don't think this is necessarily a black eye on the legal profession. Oh, it's not? That one of your bar members was creeping on a woman in a tanning salon? Look, here, I made a little, uh, a little thing for you here. So here's the prosecutor in here. He climbs up on it. He's in this little tanning salon, oh. climbs up on a chair, puts his camera over the top here and is filming this poor woman who's screaming for help as she is literally undressed. This is what the prosecutor is doing. For fuck's sake, you guys. <laughs> so gross. I'm giving so the audience a visual. Oh. Oh my God. It's fucking disgusting. It's, it's disgusting. Fucking... And that, that they got five judges, Larry, five judges and all these DAs and two people who worked in the crimes against women unit, the crimes against women unit two, the head uh, prosecutor there. And one of his underlings who was a female actually went to bat for this guy. Now I understand wanting to help your friend and everything, but maybe you should help him to not be a lawyer anymore. Someone who has such disrespect and disregard for the law should not hold a bar license. Absolutely not. I'm just Agreed. horrified by the whole thing. I think I it's disgusting. The, the 90 day suspension was not enough, uh, in my opinion, that it should have been longer, maybe like a year minimum. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'll go so far as disbarment, because, again, a. Look, I represent a lot of people who have a lot of mental health issues and alcoholism and drug addiction. And sometimes people have, you know, fantasies and they're not in the right mind. I mean, do you really want to deprive someone of their livelihood just because they have a, 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 like a yes. sex disease? Yes. Yes. Uh, he should not be working anywhere near victims forever because okay, you don't fair, know what his fair. Maybe as a prosecutor, maybe as a pro, but you're talking disbarment, which no, but, means like taking away his license so he can never yeah. represent people ever yeah. again. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yes. Okay, that's fair, what I mean. You know fair. why? You know why? why? Because Tell me that law degree doubles as a business degree. He can go get a job in the private sector doing anything he wants. He'll be fine. 
Fair enough. He, I guess he can I, be, I, go I, sell insurance. He can uh, open a mortgage company. He can get, he don't pretend like just because somebody's bar right. license is taken away that he has no other uh, options. He has a college degree and an advanced degree. That means that he can get a job doing all number of things. He should never again hold a license that says, I am a court I am an, a, yes. I am a okay. member I see your of the point. court. I, see, I missed that point, I guess, because you're still, you still have a duty of candor before the, the tribunal. You still have, I see, I see it. Okay. I was giving him a little too much credit there. I see no, what you're saying now. The, the guy is an offender. He should be on a yes, list. Yes. A hundred percent. Yeah. He is, should... is, is he on a list? Is he a sex, a, no, a sex offender? No, no, no. Are you serious? A, no, they don't have a list for that. No they, way. They say, no fucking way. Yeah. Tug looked it up no. last night. No. Yeah, Tug looked it up last night. Oh There's my no... God, he got a he got away with it. He got away with it. And okay, I don't, no, I... never mind. I take I take everything. I did not know that. <laughs> I did not know that. I did not know that. That I did not know. I take all my words back. I agree. No, with he's Megan not on 100%. a list. He's not on a list, and he still coaches his uh, little Jesus kid's baseball team. Fucking Christ! No, not okay. Nope. 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 It's not okay. He could go sell anything. He could get a real estate license. I bet he he could sell real estate all day long, and I wouldn't care. Although that would be terrifying too. God. <laughs> Don't bring the nanny cams into the open oh houses, God. okay, dude? I was like, just thinking that too. Oh my God, this is not oh. a guy. Now look, it doesn't mean that I don't think that he can be rehabilitated, rehabilitated or whatever, but that should not be done at the expense of people who count on you to be an above board person when you are an officer of the court. If you're an yes. officer of the court, I expect you to not have a criminal record, period. Yes. Unless, and I, there are very few exceptions, and I was saying this last night, I could see if he had like a tax problem or some kind of financial problem where he was like, you know, the IRS went after him and he had to pay a fine. I'm fine. Okay, suspend his license for 30 days or 90 days and whatever. We'll be done with it. That I understand. But when you are talking about a crime with a victim, nah, -uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, like a DUI. Uh right. A DUI, if you get like, a DUI, a GML record, you know, if he did something when he was record, 16, when sure. he was stupid, like, sure, sure I can, I can forgive sure. that. You know, I'm sure there's, sure. there's a lot of that going around, but We're like talking about once you're a licensed attorney, yeah, all yeah. bets are off. All bets are off. Absolutely. All bets are off. All right. I think, I don't know what, uh, happened with, uh, I don't know if my, hold on. I'm going to test something. I'm going to remove my Lego cam and Larry, tell me if you can still hear me. No, I cannot hear you. All right. So we're just going to leave it up, which is fine, which is what I was going to do anyway. I'm just going to leave the camera up, but it's good to know. Oh, the dog is visiting. Hello, Archie Ruckus. How I also, I did something. I didn't know StreamYard has this option. I linked it to my channel. So I'm also, I'm also parallel streaming this on my channel right now. So hello, folks. Um, I've you never do done that. I've never done that before. I just saw a button. And Chandler is about to join us. Uh, I Are just you saw... siphoning off my audience, Larry? I'm actually giving you an audience, Megan. You're <laughs> welcome. I'm, 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 I'm giving to the community. I've never tried that either. I've seen it before, but I didn't know what it does. What Does it just so play this you see, stream on your channel? It, yes. If you turn on, That's like, weird. if you go to live, right, on your yeah. comments, you have, you have private chat comments on your screen, right? If you mm -hmm. click on live... Uh, you will see that certain comments have like a little, the YouTube button. And then some of them have like a YouTube button and a little like chain link, like looks like this with like a line through it mm -hmm. on top. Those are the people who oh, are yeah. linked from mine. Oh, look at that. And so they can be in the chat too. Oh, yep. that's fun. I didn't know that that, how that worked. It's that like is dual so streaming cool. there. MG law said you are dual streaming now. That's so cool. All right. Well, I guess we'll get this hearing started. So let's get over to the old YouTubes. Uh, now, and pull it up. We're going to look at hearing number two today. Mm -hmm. uh, we watched hearing number one yesterday, and it was a total shit show. I'm not expecting anything uh, less than that for hearing number two. And it looks like, yeah, we'll probably only get through part one of hearing number two today because it's an hour and 14 minutes as it is. So I'll probably plan on doing part two tomorrow um, because I can't be here all day, but this should be fun. So Wait, let's you're doing part two of what? Sorry. We're doing part one of hearing number two today, mm -hmm. but there's a part two as well. I doubt Got we'll you. get to it today is what Got I mean. Mm -hmm. All you. right. So let's share this. I'll try and move my camera so it's not sharing the screen so you guys aren't distracted by two hearings. All right. 
here we go. Let's pull this up. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Justin and Thomas. Is one two three. Yeah, I'll be in and out some because we got an we got an audit at the office. So Preston and Hales, thirty eight, twenty twenty three, dr four one six. If I can just have uh, Ms. Preston as the petitioner, if you could just announce your presence. Appearances for the for the record, for the record please. I'm Lynette Preston. Okay, I'm thank here. you. You may be seated. Council. Good afternoon, Judge. Randy Shockett, Shockett Law Group, Trenton, Florida, on behalf of the, the uh, respondent. Sir, you know your present? My computer better not die. What happens? I don't know. It keeps spinning. Just it's going to be like Martha mine, Ritz? is it, night? And are you no, well, Brad can run Shockett? it for me, maybe, if he needs to. Although... I can't control it from his end, though. That's the problem, and, and, and he's your working. Purpose in being here, Your Honor. She's all right. Let me try something down in here. Just to be a witness, she's also one of the per, per, uh, persons protected by the order in Ohio that we ask you to take the judicial. So, notice what of. would be the relevance of her being protected? She can, if she feels like she's placing herself too close to the petitioner in this case and is at risk, she should sit in the back of the courtroom. If she's a witness, she should not be sitting at counsel table. Okay. Well, then you can. That's fine. Sit, just sit right back here. Is that Doreen sitting next to Jeremy? So we no, are, that uh, is George, matters. I think. Uh, the first thing I want yeah, to it was George. Here. I couldn't see her. She was so small. So we're here pursuant to several matters of process. Um, on November 29, an evidentiary hearing and adjudicatory hearing was scheduled on the petitioner's affidavit. Um, or excuse me, supplemental affidavit in support of petition for injunction for protection against stalking filed October 30th, along with the initial petition for injunction for protection against stalking filed September 7th. The case proceeded to hearing on November 29, at which time it became apparent to this court at or about 4.45 p.m. that the petitioner was not yet concluded in her presentation of her case in chief. The case involved and included uh, video footage, documentary evidence, um, and lengthy testimony of a pro se litigant that was not completed. Um, and certainly in consideration of allowing the petitioner to conclude presentation of her case. And likewise, providing the respondent and his counsel at that time opportunity to be heard in opposition, um, including but not limited to cross-examination of the petitioner and presentation of evidence, either in the form of testimony and or other physical evidence, which could include videos, photographs, and according to counsel for the respondent at the time, at least two witnesses that were identified as being present in the courtroom. Bottom line is it became apparent to this court that there was no way the case was going to conclude by the close of business and the court expressed and that record will reflect concerns for court uh, officials and not wanting to cut the matter short. Um, as a result of that, the court made inquiry and announced that the court would in fact clear the court's calendar for the following morning. November 30 at 9 a.m. to conclude these proceedings, balancing the need to adjudicate the case on its merits, the concerns and issues um, of the petitioner, the fact that there was no temporary injunction in place at the time, the need for the respondent to get a resolution, which at times, which was inexplicable. What? Um, what was inexplicable? Counsel at the time of judge, this will just take a few minutes. 
when oh here we go at the same time talking out of the other side of his mouth he had two witnesses at least he had uh, a desire to cross examine that he said he may or may not need to call he mark feather issues of judges that make does it matter to you i think it was like a rhetorical question or i don't know that he wanted it to be adjudicated but nonetheless the court did not um judge does it make any difference that the petition was not even sworn to which i said yeah it, they, all legal issues all factual ad, matters are important to the court if they need to be adjudicated so i don't know what that meant but except when it comes to motions to disqualify those are not important to the court three which is that issue <laughs> was sworn to before a deputy clerk of court. The supplemental petition filed October 30th, 2023, was sworn to before a deputy clerk of court. The petitioner herself on November 29 at 3.09, 32 seconds, was sworn by the court. He's going to recite the entire um, history so of the case before we get down going. To the, uh, down to the second. What he was talking it's about. Disgusting. Literally. Moot. Does it mean that it's not relevant or remains moot? But it's in that context that Mr. Shockett, you weren't here, but um, counsel for Mr. Hales at the time represented, he, we could resolve this in minutes. Hmm. Um, and in the history of jurisprudence, I don't know of anyone that's ever cross-examined a petitioner who pre pre presented two hours of testimony, confronted video evidence, documented. Rip. Dang it. All right, Brad, I can't. If I touch anything, this is what happens. So we'll just leave it. We'll just leave it the way it is. It's fine. You don't have to. I guess I can't. The reason why Team Viewer won't work is probably because it's too much, too much going on at once. It's all right. I, I shouldn't have touched anything. That was oh, a mistake. You hit buttons. Mistake. You got a party going on in here. Yeah. Mistake. <laughs> mistake. Uh, Huge mistake. Okay, hold on. I'm going to close down some windows and see what happens. Let's give it a stay away from the, the window. Old, let's give it the old refresh. Defenestrate Judge the Thomases. That means throwing out a window for those who don't know. Defenestrate. What a good word. But seriously, the guy recites the entire history of the case before he can get going. And this is just going to go on and on and on. And this is denial of due this process, is, is what this is. Here, but, um... Counsel for Mr. Hales at the time represented, he, we could resolve this in minutes. Hmm. Um, and in the history of jurisprudence, I don't know of anyone that's ever cross examined. Oh my God. In the history of jurisprudence. Of I have been around for a long time. I am old and riggedy, and I've never seen that. <laughs> possibly presenting his own client. The court expressed under 9615 an intent to possibly ask the respondent several questions and present two other witnesses, all of which would be subject to cross-examination in a matter of minutes. minutes. Um, Thousands of minutes, maybe. <laughs> and so, yeah, and so the, the, the relevance oh, of the court setting this record um, is what we now need to address here uh, this afternoon. On November 29, at the close of business, uh, that Wednesday, the court offered that we will reconvene the following morning at 9 a.m. Just a second. Here. And they wouldn't take me up on it. I've got so many documents. I don't know that I have that. The... I'll deal with this first. So um, at that time, the court mentioned we'll reconvene at 9 a.m. The petitioner mentioned to the court um, that despite having a medical appointment for the following morning, she would change that or reschedule that appointment for the purposes She's a saint, of that proceeding one. with the matters to be adjudicated that following morning. And so not being insensitive to the fact that she would have to reschedule the court accepted her representation she could be here was willing to be here she would reschedule when turning to the respondent and his counsel what was represented to the court was one that the respondent himself and the language was to the effect of 
Not to the effect. Give us the exact quote, yeah. Judge. Yeah, I forgot the dates. Can you remind me, Judge, please? <laughs> He had to be present in Ohio the following morning. Oh, here he goes. To yeah. address matters relevant to he those lied to the court by, <laughs> by this court that he had a flight out and oh, needed to be guy. in Ohio tomorrow morning, having to address matters in Ohio related to this situation. Um, and so that representation was made and considered by the court in addition counsel at that time for the respondent stated and another thing in effect judge i've got um, a calendar conflict for tomorrow morning again this court is obligated to consider the potential impact upon continuance to the petitioner without having a temporary injunction in place Nonetheless, the court at that time stated we would reconvene today's date, December 6, 2023, at 1 p.m. Counsel for Mr. Hales was present, did not object to scheduling it for today. Because his back was turned? Agreed to schedule yeah, it for today. Because he literally at 1 did not hear you. His assistant, who I'm familiar with, was present with him. And again, I didn't ask them this, but it would not be too presumptuous to think that the lawyer should know what his calendar is when I, su oh, when I suggested the wow. next day at 9 in the morning. He is he so insufferable. Mm. Did I inquire? But he said he had one. When I said, okay, Wednesday, next Wednesday, 1 o'clock, yep. no objection. Actual he agreement didn't ask. for scheduling it. Nope. His assistant, again, I don't know that she would have done this, but it wouldn't be a far stretch to think to... Again, and you're making say, assumptions hey, from the bench, bro. Stop it. Conflict. Take a peek at your calendar. And or, nobody, hey, take a moment. The litigants don't care about issue. any of this. This is not relevant. He clearly is, did not watch everyone was in agreement the, the video from the prior prior hearing. At 1 o'clock, we hear this matter. Subsequent to that, <sighs> at... Subsequent to that, let me tell you all about how pissed off I am at you. Mr. Feather, then counsel for Mr. Hale, Hales, excuse me, files a motion to continue. Okay, and? The close of business on a Friday effectively becomes Monday as a practical matter. Oh effectively God. becomes 48 oh hours God, or so stops. before the start of this hearing. And the motion to continue and at great length this court entered an order denying the motion to continue but by the way megan sorry can, can you pause this for just one second yeah. um, i, I want to say something that that kind of uh, was brought to light i think after that thing that you sent yesterday that you went over with tug on his channel by the way you mm -hmm. all go check it out if you haven't seen that video yet after we're done here um so it's 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 a very I mean, we already knew it's a good old boy system. That's no surprise. We already knew that this is a small town. Uh, everybody protects everybody. But now we have proof. And I think I, I have a better understanding now that we're watching this uh, hearing, you know, uh, from December 6th and, and yesterday's hearing, why he is the way that he is. He knows that he is protected. He yep. knows he's got a posse. He knows yep. that they will bend over backwards to make sure that he's fine no matter what he does. Even if he spies on a chick in a tanning salon, they're going to cover up for him. They're going to cover up. They're going to protect him. Somebody else. And they're not going to do anything about uh, you know, removing him or anything even close to that. To the contrary, they'll bend over backwards to make sure he stays on the bench. So one of the reasons why I think he's got this ego is, is because it's not just his own ego. It is a it um it it, it what I, there's a psychological term for it, and it's not coming to me right now. Maybe Chad can help me out. It's basically when you feel empowered, and now the community, kind of like what the I mean, what the hells are, are having from the community right now? Only in the positive sense. Only this is in the negative sense. The judge feels empowered, and the way that he behaves, it's a psychological response 
to mm-hmm. to the fact that he's untouchable and he believes he's 100% convinced he is completely untouchable and he can just drone on he can do whatever he wants he can listen to the sound of his own voice and not litigate <laughs> cases and and just it's 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 like a it's like a symphony a performance in his own head of one one man show yeah. of look at me and, yeah. and like I, look at me that's literally how i feel Narcissist. No, I, well, there's there's another way, t- psychological term. Maybe the, the psychologist in the in in the chat can say it's a phenomena. There's another phenomena. It's like it's like the confirmation bias of your narcissism. I forget what it's called. It, there's a I learned it many years ago. But anyway. But you know what's scary though is that he might be right, Larry. Like he might be right. He might actually be untouchable. I don't know how, when Mm. I saw that five judges who are still sitting judges, I think four of them are still on the bench that were involved in that, in that going to bat for the, the pervy weirdo, Mm -hmm. um, five of them, four of them, at least four are still on the bench in this district. If Jeremy gets a new lawyer, uh, a new judge, it's going to be one of them. And they are clearly all in the same club. Yeah. And if, if they've decided that they don't want Jeremy Hale's uh, in this community, they're going to rule against him no matter what. That that is, this is the thing that is so weird about this case now that I I think it's way deeper and way more complicated than we thought. It's not just one judge; it's an entire nest of vipers here that are they want their little town and their little county to be run exactly how they want it run. Now here's the thing: mm-hmm. yesterday when I did some research on all the people who testified in defense of uh, Ezel, the tanning salon perv. And one of them was the clerk of court who just retired. Uh, His last name is Irby. And I I got confused looking him up because there's another Irby with a nickname, but a different nickname. His nickname was Buddy Irby. And the other guy that kept coming up was Jess Irby, which was a nickname. I finally figured it out. He retires as the clerk of court and guess who gets installed? His son. So Buddy is the retired dad, clerk of court 25 years in Levy County. Mm -hmm. His son gets sworn in right after him as he retires. His son, his son, Jess Irby is now the clerk of court. And guess who he went to school? Guess who Jess Irby grew up next to? Ezel. Judge. Oh, it's Ezel. Oh, no. it's- Ezel. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. They were wow. neighborhood pals. Yeah. Well, it's a town of, of 200 people, so I'm not surprised right. that they all know each other. Right. And I don't, it's not like no one can get forgiveness and you can never be forgiven. It's just that people with immense amounts of power, judges, DAs, the, these people should not be should not be covering up for people who victimize others when that is their entire job is to advocate for victims. They should not be doing that. That That's just not in their purview. They can remain friends with a man, but also say, you really need to do something else with your life because this yes. is not for you. You don't belong here. That, that belong. I agree with now. I thought, sorry, Megan, again, I, I have to reiterate that my earlier comment, I thought, and then, but then like, I guess my brain didn't fully wrap the concept because it's like oh, if you're if, if you're a convicted you know sex offender which this was a sex offense in my opinion and i think in the opinion of everyone yes, uh, voyeurism it, yes he was videotaping a woman changing half naked on his cell phone that is a sex offense period the end and yeah, so it's a felony on top of it it's a felony on top of it so you should be not only a, well okay maybe maybe he got diversion or whatever so it's not like a, he's not a convicted felon fine but you should go on the registry and once you're on the registry I've, I don't know do you lose your license automatically like I actually don't know the procedure because I've never doubt it I doubt I've never, it but in, but in this case he wasn't he didn't even go on the registry yeah no 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 this didn't even so go on weird. the registry so, so and, and, uh, tug found tug found that there was some writing on it that said something like well, the embarrassment and shame is enough for voyeuristic <laughs> offenders, so they don't have to go on a registry, which I think is really shitty. And I wonder how his vi- how his victim feels. I wonder if she can go into a dressing room anymore or a tanning salon and feel comfortable. You know, well, I wonder if, how much therapy she's needed to get over this. Yeah, somebody gets drunk and you know takes a leak on the sidewalk of a the side of a building. 
outside the bar, and they're going to get have to register. Are you serious? Well, yeah, that happens a lot. If somebody gets caught urinating in public. Wow. And then all they have then are they're on a registry. But you can film a woman in a tanning bed, and you don't get on a registry. That is gross. That's just gross. This is a peeping Tom pervert, and he's not on a registry. Nope, nope. He's a he's a valued, vaunted member of the uh, of the the bar in Gainesville, and and the Eighth Circuit just loves him. Everybody there loves him, and and that's fine. They can love him all they want, but they shouldn't have gone to bat for him. Uh, to keep his law license. It's just my, my girlfriend who's been listening to all this. She's getting ready to jump on. Like I said, Chandler actually made a good point. The reason why even my initial instinct was to kind of give him the benefit of the doubt is because I'm a criminal defense attorney and my brain automatically goes defaults to how would I defend this person? How would I help them? How would I protect their rights? You know? And so that's why my sure. default is like, well, what can we do to, to keep his job or to, to whatever? So that's a really good point that she's making myself as a criminal defense attorney my my brain is always like what is the best strategy to win this case even though i have no 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 positive feelings towards this man i mean there are a lot of clients that i have no positive feelings towards but i represent them to the best of my ability because everybody deserves a zealous advocate that's the end of the line yeah and, and i agree that that's true and he does deserve a, a zealous advocate in court but you know another thing i couldn't find that he got any criminal sentence for it I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm having people, I have some people looking it, looking it up for me, but I haven't found any news reports of a criminal sentence or, I mean, he must, he pled no contest, but did he get sentenced is the, is the question. Like he, he pled. Yeah, not so able to look up the court records. Um, well, I haven't, I haven't tried that yet and I will. Yeah, um, I would go to I the county clerk, the county court clerk's records and search his name in whatever yes. county it's in. And if it's not in that one, maybe in the surrounding county. Yeah, good idea. Good idea. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this whole thing is just, it's upsetting to me. And that, it, so Jeremy, so getting back to the, the point, which is, even if he gets a new judge, if they don't want him here, it's already a done deal. It's just a done deal. And that's unfortunate. And we've uncovered something in this county that is a real problem. Uh, and, and luckily it is not like this everywhere. You know, I was talking to Tug and he's like, our, if this happened in our community, in our small town, there's no way that they would circle the wagons like that. So it, it just depends. It depends on where you are and what the, what the culture is like there. And unfortunately, this Levy County has some really bad culture, I think. I think that's the problem. So let's, uh, we'll continue here. This was insufficient to grant the relief being requested. Number two, made no representation or no affirmance or no position stated with regards to what the petitioner's position might be or that contact was made to see if she objects or, or not. Um, did not suggest when it might be continued to if the court did continue it. Uh, and generally fail to establish any good cause for the requested continuance. Additionally, on the 29th, at the close of the proceedings, when the court directed and suggested and got agreement from counsel that we'd be here at one o'clock on 12-6 to hear this matter. Lie. Um, the court also- Yeah, agreement, what agreement? To everybody, to all parties, and the court, the court said to respondents counsel in the presence of his assistant, to his client, to the petitioner, the hearing will take place on 12, six at 1 PM. If any calendar conflict arises, you'll have a week to take care of it by rescheduling whatever matter comes up that would otherwise potentially be in conflict. I made it really clear. This takes priority. These types of cases take priority. This particular case takes priority. This is a case we already started. This is a case that could have been concluded the following morning. This is a case that the respondent and his counsel wanted the continuance. They were granted that continuance. They don't object to the continuance. No, they, they didn't agree want to the continuance. continuance. And then they're asking for another continuance. Inexplicable. Say continuance one more time, Judge. Barred. I dare you. I double dog dare you. <laughs> In addition to that, the, co the court. And Mr. Hales, it, you didn't, I mean, you might've said one or two things. I don't know. You weren't. No, he said nothing. 
your lawyer Nothing. represented to this court certain things on your behalf. Um, and I have to accept them. I'm dying and of old age here, Judge. Question those, but you may be thinking, <laughs> well, now he's questioning because in the order denying the motion to continue, I further directed the respondent to present proof of travel and his appearance in court in Ohio. Because quite frankly, that became the basis of the continuance. And in part, and we're going to get to in a moment, we're now dealing with a second successive motion to continue filed by present counsel, Mr. Shockett, who's here on different grounds, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that in a minute, but in part, because we're we now have that, it becomes even that much more important that the compliance issue is addressed. And the court asked for three things in that order. And the court has not yet received compliance. By the way, every time he says the court, the court he one, says me. Written documentary me. proof of the travel itinerary corroborating <sighs> that he did travel by plane to Ohio to be present in time for a hearing on the morning of 11 30 23. And Never said he had a hearing. hearing. Whatever. No, he said he had matters he to deal with in court. Confirming and corroborating that he did in or fact with the have court. a required court appearance in Ohio scheduled for the morning of 11 30 23 and three that he attended such proceeding by the way megan sorry did you One know that facebook and instagram support. are down and facebook messenger oh no i didn't know that because i never use facebook anymore it's totally yeah, useless I in I fact I, I, stopped, I stopped i stopped streaming there too because it's just an absolute it, it just doesn't make any sense like no one's watching it's i have over i have almost ten thousand followers on facebook and my live streams get very little uh, viewer viewership. And I swear they have been ever since they put PG media on the bad algorithm mm -hmm. on Facebook where they, they slashed my salary by half more than half that year. Oh, uh, it was 2020. My salary just tanked and it was because Facebook put a block on us mm -hmm. ever since then. I am hidden on Facebook. I'm sure of it. I'm actually considering just, just, deleting it because there's no point in it anymore so I, when I they're down I with ago. friends you know like <laughs> friends and family yeah i mean well, i have like i have one for that but i never check it i never check mm -hmm. it yeah That's i have weird. to keep in touch with friends and family they know how to get in touch with me if they need to well i'm also part so. of like this private group where, where there's like 600 lawyers and we all like ask for legal advice and share like our thoughts and opinions and stuff so i at least that i find that's like the only thing i use it for anymore yeah, I used to have a group there that was the Conservative Libertarian Fiction Alliance. It was a bunch of writers, uh, conservatives and libertarians, and it was great. But then infighting broke it up, and half of them moved to MeWe, and half of them stayed there, and I just backed out of all of it. I was like, ah, oh, yeah. forget it. I get it. Uh, <laughs> so that was the last group that I was involved in on Facebook. So now I just don't have any, and uh, I am i don't miss it. I Twitter replaced everything for me. Um, I really like Twitter. I, I don't want to get too backed up on the super chat, so we'll get to some of those right now. John Stuber, Mark Feather, thanks for Arr. the super chat. Appreciate that. Um, wait, where did the first one go? Whoops, I missed it. Okay, Jackie, thanks for the super sticker. Appreciate you. PDW, thanks for the super sticker. Sarah Adams, just wondering if Larry is from The Ville. What's I name? am. The Ville is Louisville, Kentucky. The Ville, Louisville. We call it The Ville. Oh. Yep. I think I think Sarah's in Kentucky too. Uh Demil Vincatre. Demil Vincatre. Demil Vincatre. Is that French? Yes. Hello, Larry and Megan. Hello. Thank you for the super chat. Carrie McPhee, thanks for the super chat. Watching the saga from Melbourne, Australia, all the way from down under. Oh, well, welcome. K Matt Red Queen became a YouTube member. Welcome to the Fox Den. That is the sound that a fox makes. If you have never heard it, it's pretty terrifying. And Bessie Knox gifted one DUI guy membership. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, Siggy H says, Judge Grudge loves pervs and strippers. Oh, gross. Um, all right. Let's see. Kilobyte became a YouTube member. Welcome to the Fox Den. Yeah, because he did represent a stripper. Did he? Ago. Is that what that's about? Yeah, the judge did. Yes, the judge represented. Well, he was a defense was a attorney. Yes, yeah, as a defense and, and attorney. Yes. Can I? Can I? I, I have to say this. I, I I have examined that case ad nauseum, and someone has sent me a, even a two minute clip 
I hate to say it, but at least in 1999, the judge's hands are mostly clean. Like he was, okay. he was a defense attorney. He did his yeah. job. I mean, he didn't want the video. I will say this. He didn't want the video to leak to the public, but it was in his client's best interest. Because the video yeah. would have basically shown that she is 100% like at fault. And he was trying to protect the information from the public. Mm -hmm. Because if the public had seen it, they would be up in arms. And she would be yeah. convicted of perjury. And he was representing her, trying to defend her on the perjury charge. So he yeah. actually did well, the right thing. I, I have to give him but, credit. As Now that I dug more into it, I think his hands are 100% clean. He actually I did just, a, a, yeah. a right thing. I think he deserves a good defense. In, 99, in 1999. But that was 25 years ago. So things have changed. Yeah, when since. was... Uh, when was Lynette a stripper? Oh, uh, God. I don't even. Well, you've got a theme for him. I don't know. I don't even want to think about that. K. Matt Red Queen, welcome <laughs> to the welcome to the Fox Den. Good to have you here, Matt Bond. Thanks for the super chat. Hello, my spiffy legal mumbo jumbo talkie mate. Hello. All right. Uh, Fluff Nutta became a YouTube member. Welcome to the Fox Den. Chickens get eaten. And Fluff Nutta, thanks for the super sticker. Appreciate you. And boy, a lot of new members today. This is great. KT carries watermelon. Thanks for becoming a YouTube member. I'm going to have to get on my members only uh, uh, content. Suzanne Parrish, thanks for the super chat. Looking like Judge lies as much as Lynette. It, it's strange. He does tell a lot of lies from the bench, and he really shouldn't. Yes, Internet, Internet killed the TV, became a YouTube member. Welcome to the Fox Den. Internet radio killed, killed the, TV. the radio star reference. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. Matt Bond, thanks for the super chat. I wish I had a rent as cheap as Feather has in the judge's head. He's up there <laughs> rent free. He will be older than Dumbledore by the time he's finished. I know he's aging in front of us. His hair is growing wilder by the hour that passes kimberly mogan thanks for the super chat he recites this every time to extend the time i know that's how it feels i feel like he does not control his courtroom and that all of these delays are truly the judge's fault because he wastes so much time internet killed the tv thanks for the super chat your awesome talk tomorrow oh if you have to leave i'm sorry you have to leave please come back for the replay and if you're here on the replay don't forget to hit that like button while you are watching and shout out to the replay folks the replay crew we love you linda evers thanks for the super chat there's a gofundme for jeremy's legal fees jeremy's legal fees my poor guy uh lily red 37 thanks for the super chat at dui guy plus i hope you enjoyed the mark feather t-shirt design i sent yes. you yes i did thank you awesome don't we have talented chat members it's amazing what they can come up with Debbie Childers, thanks for the super chat, says, why did he send George to the back of the court? He said she couldn't sit. If she was a witness, she had to sit behind yeah. the table. It's um, just not a party to the case. so Right. So she can't sit at council table. Yeah. That's just a rule. Uh, Reba 54, thanks. Welcome to the uh, Fox Den. Welcome. Do your squats. All right. Paul Broadworth, thanks for the super chat. If Jeremy would have been in court, so would have Lunette. He is, he He's in, he's not smart. Jeremy would have been in court. So would Lynette. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I don't know if I got that or not, but that's okay. Thanks for the super chat. Candace Bingham. Thanks for the super chat says Larry sending your, you, you're an important email, sending got you it. an important email. Margaret Tear, Thanks for the super chat word. You're looking for word. You're looking for is cocksure. That is a good word. That's a mm. very good word. Con confident, arrogant. It's like a, it's like an arrogant confidence. I think. Right. Teresa Finn, thanks for the Super Chat. Says, after what we watched last night, we all agree that what the Hales probably won't get justice here. What can we do now? Oh, I, I mean, you got to keep going and go through the system and see what happens. I mean, that's all we can do. And with media attention on this story, perhaps, perhaps they will decide that it's better for them to get rid of this and to stop. You know, who knows? I don't know. Hey, I don't Megan, know what people were asking for the to see the t-shirt design. Can you share the screen? Oh. This is it. Oh, this is somebody good. sent that to me. That's so good. <laughs> That's good. I love it. Marcus King, remember Larry never ask a question. You don't know the answer. The judge already says go to first DCA if you don't like it. And then they're already there, right? Thanks, Marcus King, for the super chat. Appreciate it. Lori De Jesus, thank uh, thanks for becoming a YouTube member. Welcome to the Fox Den. And don't forget to do your squats. Duncan Idaho, thanks for the super chat says, turns out just anyone can be a judge, even low tier social worker advocates who look like they smell like onions. <laughs> this is the land of opportunity. That's hilarious. That's a good one. Casey Cat, thanks for the super chat, says this whole thing smells of Murdoch, Murdoch County. Yeah, it does. Mm. Yes, it kind of does. 
Karen Bamberg, thanks for the super sticker. I appreciate that. Miss Jackson, North Carolina, thanks for the super chat. I think they all just need Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Rogue Mama, member for three months. Thanks for being here. Three months since the demonic pizza with toppings from hell took me into her den. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, Chris W., thanks for the super sticker. Appreciate that. Karen Karsten, thanks for the super chat. Says, I experienced similar corruption in Ada, Oklahoma. There's some pretty famous documentary documentaries and a book made about it. Small towns and small counties. Big corruption. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> true. Sarah Adams, thanks for the super chat, says, I know I'm your second favorite, but I live in Oregon. Oh, why did I think you were lived in Kentucky? I don't know. Kathy Hall, thanks for the super chat. The man behind Lynette is Russ the Sus. Wait. Hold on. In the video? That guy? Oh, she is, son. So he's the guy, he's like a, a board member or something? He's the no 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 he's the the uh oh my god chat help me out isn't he's he the, the county supervisor or something something like that he works for the system I forget yeah, what he, he does he works at the I don't know what his well the chat will correct us in a minute yeah, I'm almost yeah, the, through these reform Congress thanks for the super chat could the judge be brought up previous on mayor ex mayor sorry ex mayor. ex mayor yeah could the judge be brought up on federal deprivation of rights charges no probably not if the FBI the FBI doesn't care and they don't have any jurisdiction over well, they do have jurisdiction do. over judges if judges are doing things like um, Accepting uh, case, bribes. case fixing, bribes. There was a big, huge case in Chicago. Operation Greylord took down 19 uh, corrupt judges and lawyers. They were taking bribes to for cases, for case outcomes. Wow. Uh, and that was caught on wiretaps. That was a huge operation. But the FBI appears to be way less interested in judicial corruption and more interested on who traveled to Washington, D.C. on January 6, 2020 and uh, locking up grannies uh, in, you know, who took a tour through the Capitol. So don't count on them to get involved in any kind of judicial uh, investigations these days. They're, they're very, very busy uh, looking for people who did tourism in the in the Capitol in 2020. Very busy. They were invited in. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Fox Den. Uh, whoever got that gifted sub from Rogue Mama. Thank you for that. Rogue Mama. <laughs> that was really that good, Mary. Oh, God. That was really <laughs> good. <laughs> to Melvin Quatra. I can't, I can't say, I can't speak French. What did Thomas says is doing is the biggest joke ever since Therese Johansson Rojo's killer and his accomplice got only 20 months in jail in Sweden. By the way, yes, my username is French. It means 2024. Oh, thank you. I, I, I should have known that, but I can't even count in French. Teresa Finn thinks the super chat says, Megan, I'm too sick to do squats today. Maybe I'll do leg lifters while I'm trying to nap. Here's some great news. My neck is feeling much better today. Look, look at me turn my head without wincing. Good. So guess what I did? This is so crazy. So I don't know. I was up really late two nights ago. I couldn't sleep. And the Oculus was sitting there and I haven't played the Oculus in a while. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to play a little Beat Saber. I'm going to do Beat Saber. Next thing you know, I have been playing Beat Saber for an hour. It was like two in the morning. It was ridiculous. I was up till two in the morning playing Beat Saber. Nice. And, and it was it's so much fun. I do love Beat Saber. It's a good game, you know? And so I go, I go to bed. I wake up in the morning and I was feeling a little better. My neck was feeling a little better. And I realized halfway through the day, I'm like, I wonder if it was the Beat Saber. So last night I played again. I played again. Now I have an excuse why mommy needs the Oculus for an hour because uh, I need to do my That's neck right. rehab. And honestly, my, I'm moving my neck better today than I have in, I don't know, two awesome. months. Awesome. Movement yeah, sometimes therapy. heals a lot of like muscle pain. But so like if you start like moving, running, walking, doing things like it loosens up the muscles. And then when you sleep, they don't get as tense, you know? Well, so that's what I was supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be doing all oh, the walking. Last time I had this, I was doing much more walking and I got rid of it. So I went back to the gym for the last three months. I've been walking like crazy, been doing weights and stuff, but it was actually getting worse. So I don't know if it was because I'm not using weights and it's just my arms and there's a lot of rotator cuff motion. Who knows? I don't know, but it's working. So I'm going with the Beat Saber therapy from now on. I, I'm just saying. 
I, the walking though is also good and the weather is breaking. So thank God. K Matt Red Queen, thanks for the super chat. Says, watch Levy Co comments meeting this AM and two Meeks family members on the board. One is Russ the Sus's son, the ex mayor. You know, I, I still haven't gotten into this, like what's going on on the county level. I have no idea. Lori DeJesus, thanks for the super chat. Says, what are the chances that Lynette found a Thomas's best friend as his attorney? Well, I, for one, I thought that was pretty sus suspect myself. But then again, considering the size of the town and how many attorneys there are, maybe there's really only like two law offices in town. I don't know. We should well, maybe find and apparently Jeremy had spoken to quite a few of the attorneys locally as well. So they may have been conflicted out. <gasps> Oh, that's interesting. Lori continues to say, I really think that JG had Silverman contact her. What do you think? I, I think it's a possibility, but I think it's also, that would be really bad. That would be yeah. really bad. That and would be, be open corruption. But like, if we, he we is have... an ethics professor, yeah. my, my instincts tell me that he wouldn't do that. I don't think he did. I really, I mean, I'm biased, but if he did that, it would, now I'm thinking like, let's say he did do that. Let's let's assume for a second. Let's assume the worst, Megan. Let's say he, as a judge, was like, hey, listen, buddy, um, there's this woman in my courtroom. She's unrepresented. I feel bad for her. Uh, this I'm giving him too much credit. But like, you know, you can make money on this case. How about you reach out, see if she's got any money and maybe you can make some money on it. Like, I, is that against the rules? I don't think I, it is. That's the I thing. I think like, he could do that. I think the, he What's could. the problem with it? I mean, <clears throat> it's his friend. He wants his friend to make some money. I mean, they're and in he bed could together. be concerned, and he as, could be concerned that a litigant yeah. is going to get run over in his court. As, as long as there's not like you know, um, what's it called? As long as they're not like ex parte communication. You know, uh, when they're drinking whiskey on the weekend, playing golf, being like, "Hey, so what do you think about that case, Judge?" Now that would be a violation, but they have to get there first. Yeah, right. I think he could tell somebody, hey, I think this person could use representation, but that's as far as it could go. He can't pay for that representation, which I doubt he did. Somebody, though, did give her $7,000, and and that's that's weird, and we don't know who. Mama Hype, thanks for the super chat, says, DUI, been with you since live from the line. I'm Aww. a reseller. Cha-ching, it's making me think I've got sales. <laughs> <laughs> the cha-ching sound. Duncan, Idaho. Thanks for the super chat. I'm getting some major Fanny Willis vibes from this judge. He refers to himself by his title nearly as much as she does. Very in love with his power. He loves talking about the court in the third person. Uh, that's loves what it. judges do, though. That's normal, yeah. unfortunately. But it, yeah, he, over, he over but he overuses he does. Does it. He over does I have, it. I've never heard a judge do things like this. I've never heard them say things like he does when he goes, the court said and I quote on Monday that at 559, the court warned you and the court told you. I mean, he just goes over. It's he, 559 he, it's, it's, and 37 seconds. Thank and you. And 37 seconds. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Debbie Childers, thanks for the super chat. Says, sorry, I have to take hubby to the doctor's appointment. Love you guys. Well, we love you too. Come back later. Megan, are you mad at me for messaging you on X about this case? I know it's been a lot. No, I'm never mad at anybody for mes messaging me uh, on on Twitter or on X, please find me there anytime at Megan Fox writer. I'm happy to talk to you if I can. Um, right now we are swamped with messages. So if, yeah, you so if I don't get back like three days, right, I've been right. I literally caught up on, on Saturday's messages this morning. So right. please, please yeah. be patient. Thank you for saying that, Larry, because that's, that's the truth. I'm getting so many. I may have missed your, your comment. I may have, you know, and I'm not doing it intentionally. It's just been a lot. That's Heather a Strauss, a thank you. I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> you <Not> will. <laughs> Heather Strauss, thanks for the super chat. Says, look at the court link I put in chat with different judge name on stalking cases. Oh, if you put a link in the chat, it has disappeared, Heather. Um, unless you're doing it, I don't know if you're on Larry's. I'm not sure. But if you want to send me a link, you should probably do that on Twitter uh, or locals. MeganFox.locals.com. Teddy O'Hearn, thanks for the super chat. Says, Meek's son plus nephew are Levy County commissioners. Okay, got it. Thank you. Uh, Rob Guy, thank you for joining the Fox Den. Welcome. We do squats here. And if you're a one of, if you're a male, welcome to the 20%, by the way. Welcome to the 20%. And Candace Bingham, last super chat for now. Lynette and Russ were texting during the hearing. Really? Now, <clears throat> that's interesting. This judge doesn't really keep too tight a court, uh, like tighter reins on her, though. I mean, enough. Okay, here we go styled as quote notice of compliance with court's order dated december 4 2023 is inadequate insufficient 
and does not respond fully to the order directing proof of compliance. What has been provided appears to be a copy of a boarding pass showing a November 30th, 10 a.m. flight from Tampa to Cleveland and a return boarding pass from Cleveland to Tampa. There she on is. December 3rd. Hi, Hi. Chandler. And so hey, Chandler. the first Thanks issue for that we need me. to resolve You're here welcome. is whether or not for being Hales here. has provided oh, absolutely. compliance pursuant to that order. My intent is to ask several questions um, to get that resolved so we can proceed with the other matters. Mr. Howell, if you could raise your right hand. Your Honor, Rick would maybe heard on that just to give you an introduction before we do this, because I, I just got some information from his Ohio lawyer that I think okay. is relevant. Okay, may I be heard? Sure. Okay. So thank you. And I appreciate your giving me up, getting me up to speed about what happened. Um, it's, I haven't talked to Mr. Feather, but what I understand from him, it was a misunderstanding the, about a hearing in court that morning. Uh, he went to his lawyer, and I, this is what I want to, which I just got by email from his lawyer. Uh, him had his draft and signed affidavits, which had to be notarized in Ohio, and I've got them here, which were signed in Ohio on, it, it, it related to the injunction hearing in Ohio. Uh, they were signed on December 1st. Uh, Can I can I object to this since it's it's not truthful? Okay, in a second, I'll get to you in just a second. Let me see what it is. It's not a valid objection in court, by the way. No, but the judge will buy it. Of course. Mr. Hales, if you can raise your right hand, solemnly swear or affirm the testimony about the given this call. Cause will be the truth, whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. You are Jeremy Hales, the respondent in this action? Yes. You were present in court on November 29 when your counsel represented that you had to be in court the following morning oh, in Ohio. Oh, here we go. I was in court. I apologize. Okay. I was in court. My uh, lawyer did not say verbatim I had to be in a trial in Ohio. He said that I, I say, had. I didn't say the word trial either. That's or in heard, court, or in my... why is he arguing not, with him? Trial. Has he one time, has he one time, even one time argued with Lynette nope. about anything? No. Nope. Did he interrupt her at nope. all? Not he once. Is, he is already just pissed off at him because he has made up his mind that Jeremy Hales is a liar, that he lied to him about, and he misrepresented to the court where he had to be. It's so much garbage. Yeah, I, it, does, I think it makes the judge, me mad. He, he misunderstood the phrase. He had matters to handle in, in Ohio, in, in Ohio and in court. He did say in court. Yeah. But that doesn't did. necessarily mean you're in the court. I mean, sometimes being in court, you're at the courthouse. Hey, hey, babe, what's the, the new nickname that you came up with for Judge the Thomases? Judge the Tortoises. I am. Um, <laughs> I went to, I went, I, I did a hot yoga class last night and we're in that pose where you're like, you're on your back and you're holding your feet. And I, I started rocking and all of a sudden I realized that I couldn't get up and I, and I felt like a tortoise in the sun. And I realized that it would be so funny if your locals chat did something with that, Megan, their, their memes, you know how they're going to do. If you put Judge Thomas's face on a tortoise, I mean, go wild with it. Go we have, crazy. We, they, I, they've already put, um, so they've, they've made, um, Lynette as a tortoise, which is also funny. But yes, I will have to ask the chat. I do have the locals chat open on my phone. I'm too scared to open it on the computer in case things, I don't want to touch any more buttons. So I have it open on my phone. I will be, I will be looking at locals chat every once in a while. Also rumbles hopping today, you guys. Hey, is rumble. It? I see you over there. Yeah. Rumble chat is going, which I love. Rumble is like, rumble's just 
they're on fire today. So glad you're here, Rumble. And I do have you open today so I can see you. I'm not ignoring you. All right. Let's and then, and then just real quick, just to add to it, um, the one thing that uh, I wanted to add, and I said it to her, and she just cracked up last night when she told me this because it was brilliant. It was the most brilliant thing. Judge the tortoises and think, <laughs> imagine a, a tortoise on its back, Judge the Thomas's head, and he's in the pen of Lynette with all the other <laughs> tortoises. <laughs> <laughs> in the swampy, gross water that she got in trouble oh, yeah. for. In the oh, I fell out of my chair. I have to see that. that. Too small. I, I, what is this tortoise position? Were you on your tummy with the legs behind or on your back with the legs? No, I was on, I think it's, is it called, is it like, it's not like child, but it's like happy baby. Oh, it's baby called happy baby. Like, it's happy yeah. baby. I love like that pose. And, you're, yes. and, and, was, and I started to fall over. And rolling and I, around. Yeah. And I just had that feeling of a, like a turtle or a tortoise. And I was just like, <laughs> wouldn't it be great if Judge Thomas was in this position? And he was just on his back and he couldn't roll over and he couldn't get up. You know, we'll, we'll have him retracting into his shell. He'll be so terrified. Um, I don't know. Think, yeah, I feel like this is the perfect job for locals. Locals will come up with the best memes. They, they they'll will. It. I'm looking forward to it. I just want to put that out there. <laughs> my locals, <laughs> my locals, meme farmers are uh, excellent at what they do. They're very, very good at it. So they will come up with something. They've been really going to town with the AI recently, and it has just made me scream laughing. I love it so much. All right, here we go. My legal counsel did not state I needed to be in court. He stated that I needed to be in Ohio to take care of things with the court. Having to address matters in Ohio related to this situation. Correct? correct. So did you or did you not have a court appearance? I did not have a court appearance, nor was it stated that I had a court appearance. Okay. And so what was it? You, ha you had to go there to sign some documents? That's what's been presented to the court? Yes, sir. Okay. So the court is familiar with, because the court does this on a daily basis, sometimes dozens of times, sometimes hundreds of times a day which is signing documents. Oh, this is so anywhere. unnecessary. Can I just say, can I just say, if I am this judge and this case is already dragged on, I am going to let it go and move on with the freaking case. None of this has anything to do with his case. This is all about Judge DeThomasis stroking his own ego and exercising his own authority and power over these people in his courtroom because he enjoys it for no other reason that he enjoys it. He's like a parent who is a disciplinarian and they get off on just doing disciplining all the time and they will not shut up and stop after they've already told you they didn't like the thing that you did. It's enough already. Move the fuck on. But no, he's going to do this for the rest of it. We're at, just look, we're at 19 minutes. Let's see how much longer he goes on about this particular topic. They're on the planet. Why did you have to go to Ohio to sign your name to a document? Filing for contempt of court on the civil protection orders in Ohio, my legal counsel asked if I would fly and come and notarize and file in the court system. That's not responsive to my question. My question is, why oh. would you have to physically be there in Ohio to sign a document that could be signed in many, many other ways without you physically? I being thought it was responsive. My legal counsel in too. Ohio said I need to be in person to sign the documents. It was much more responsive than, tell me how this started with you and, and Jeremy Hales. Well, it was his relationship with the Grangers. The Grangers. Who the fuck are the Grangers? What, what are you talking about, woman? We still don't My know. God, we still, yeah. Do we the counsel? Eli Heller. Eli, last name? Heller. H-E-L-L-E-R. Yes. What's he going to do? Office? Call Eli Heller Kyle and Falls, confirm? And, and by the way, can, can I Probably. can I say this? I, I know this is family court and like, you know, the rules of evidence and the rules of whatever are all relaxed, the, the rules of procedure, etc. But to cross-examine a litigant over why the like the continuance was granted and now I'm upset that I granted the continuance and I feel like I wasn't told the absolute truth, like – you can get it from the lawyer. You don't need to talk to fucking Jeremy about this. Yep. It's ridiculous. Yep. It's intimidation it's, tactic, pure intimidation tactic. Mm. And how is it now? Wouldn't you say, Larry, wouldn't mm. you say, and MG wouldn't, and Chandler, wouldn't you say at this point, this is where Jeremy can start to feel in fear that he will not get a fair trial oh, from yeah. this judge. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. Yep. 
I think it's happening right now. He's being interrogated by Judge uh, Judge de Tortoises here. I like that, Chandler. I'm gonna. I, we're gonna. We should keep that, Judge de Tortoises. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> uh, he, he's being interrogated right now. And if I were in his shoes, I would be like, what the actual hell? Th this is no, so bad. So you're saying you're, you're, you're a lawyer gave you advice, by the way, anything you're talking about in terms of advice of your counsel, if you're choosing to talk about this, I'm not, I'm not asking you to waive any attorney client privilege, but you're raising as a defense to your non-compliance with this court's order that your lawyer told you, you as a defense to you're not is he's not being yes. charged with non-compliance your can honor you tell me oh no if, if you don't have a do basis that. why from your perspective or from what you know about well, maybe you need to be there? maybe he's considering holding him in contempt larry mm -hmm. that's what it's starting to smell like that is what it sounds like what was your need to be there as opposed to all other forms of the ability to sign a document from literally anywhere on the planet these days. From my understanding, notarization. Not again. Oh no. no. Let me check. Let me check the uh make sure it got it didn't get Please. reset. You have the there computer problems like I do. It's okay. Uh, you know, it's you know what it is. <laughs> but yours I'm is brand new. So in person, it's not the computer. It's the Wi-Fi. And then filing in the Ohio courts. It's the, the yeah, bandwidth. But, but yeah. You use a notary here in Florida with your lawyer here in Florida. The the stupid. So I have Spectrum, and it's the only one we can have oh, in yeah, out, in, the, in the country. I did not ask that question. And they you're slow on. you down so on purpose. You're, you're unaware whether you could have done it that way. I am unaware. All right. Why is it not signed until December 1st? Oh, for God's sake. Why Seriously, is it not Judge? signed until? Why because is it not he signed? Flew up there on the My third flight year. was booked prearranged <laughs> for the date that you've been provided. And then the meetings were already set per date as well. The meetings were December 1st? Great yes, sir. So you did not have to be in oh. Ohio on November 30th. At oh, here he goes. Sir, I had to be at the Tampa airport for my flight at 9 a.m. <clears throat> so no, I did not need judge. to be in Ohio at 9 a.m. I needed to be at yes, the Tampa Gary. airport at 9 a.m. And he's not willing so to accept this as an answer. That you need to be in Ohio tomorrow morning. That oh, was my God. At or about 445 to 5 p.m. <sighs> on 1129. This is so exhausting. So tomorrow morning would be... <clears throat> The AM of eleven thirty. That's what he's. He doesn't counting know how flights work. He doesn't that, know how flights work. No, no, no Megan. He there. knows. You know I, I'm starting to understand him yeah. a little bit better. Maybe I don't know. Chad, agree or disagree? He is purely doing this to try and intimidate, harass, yeah. aggravate the situation, make Jeremy feel helpless, and make him feel as low and minuscule as, as he possibly can in yeah. order to get under his skin so that. I don't even know what the end goal is, but but that's that's. I don't know what it is either. What else is it? He knows how yeah. flights work. He's been flying, you know, back and forth. I'll tell you what it is. I know what it is. Dinosaurs. I know what it is. He's putting him in his place. Yeah. He. Mm. he how dare he come in here? This huge YouTube. He star. has researched him. He has researched <laughs> him since since that first hearing. He knows who he is. He doesn't like him at all, and he's going to put him in his place. Because mm -hmm. Jeremy Hales thinks he's above this judge. He thinks he's a free citizen. How dare he? I'm going to show him that he's under my thumb. He's under my boot. And that's it. That this yep. is what he's doing. He has no, he doesn't hold him in contempt. He doesn't actually do anything. This is just to harass him. Period. Exactly. I mean, unless he's never left this county. I mean, I tutored an eight-year-old who had been to Hawaii eight times because they went every year for vacation. She knew how flights work. She knew about cancellations. She knew about delays. She knew about departures. If an eight-year-old knows, Judge de Tortoises knows. Most definitely. <laughs> he, he most definitely knows. Oh, I, just, I like to call him oh, Judge the Dumbass. But... The Dumbass. There are a lot of good nicknames. I, I encourage people to come up with as many nicknames as possible. Your Honor, I had tickets pre-purchased so to make my flight for for my appearances in ohio uh, there would not have I don't believe there would have been another opportunity to actually fly into ohio to be able to make my appearances you on time never use those words and said well judge just to be accurate and just to be truthful uh, and just to articulate let's the basis, play semantics we're asking for a continuance of a case 
that involves a petition for protection against stalking for which there's no temporary injunction so that you have all the facts and circumstances. Let me tell you, my client doesn't have to be there tomorrow morning, but for the fact that he's already paid for a ticket that will allow him to get there the day before he has to be there to uh, sign a document. And maybe the court at that time could have inquired of counsel. So something at this straight, me, judge, just, you wanted his lawyer to give you his detailed itinerary. Uh, well, your honor, my client has to get up at 8 a.m. tomorrow and he has to brush his teeth and get dressed. It's going to take him 30 oh. minutes before he can get out of the house. Then he has to drive in two hour, an hour of traffic to make it to the airport two hours before for his flight and then he gets on the plane and they're going to sit on the runway for a while and though they might get snacks they might not get snacks i'm not sure but then that flight is going to take off at some point and land in ohio probably around 3 30 p.m at which point my client has to then go to his his home he has to get some sleep and wake up early in the morning to meet his lawyer at the courthouse to sign some papers did i cover everything judge like honestly, that's what he wants. What I don't that's what he wanted, really? He Apparently. wanted Mark Feather to give him his detailed minute by minute itinerary for the next day. Oh yeah. He wanted all this documentation and just wait till Lynette has the issue and he can't be there and see what he asked her for as documentation and see if it's anywhere on the same level. Not in this hearing, but it does happen. Hypothetically, why would somebody have to physically be in Ohio to sign a document? Oh, I can think of a lot of reasons. Kill me. That never took Kill place. Me. And I know that because I've, I've reviewed the hearing a half a dozen times, and I was the one who was presiding over he the hearing. You watched the hearing. What was represented to times? this court by your lawyer is that you had to be in Ohio tomorrow morning, which would have been November 30th a.m. Having he was to address, there. having, when lawyers use that word, has to, must, shall, requirement, be in Ohio related to the situation. And what I'm now hearing is you really didn't have to be there till the next day. Oh, it God. may be that you really didn't have to be there at all because all what you did was sign a document, not see a judge who required you to make a court appearance. Judge, may I ask some questions? In a moment, okay. you can. Huh? Is that Just accurate? Mr. Hale? Check is. Is that the more accurate representation? I think the accurate representation is there is a scheduling conflict. <laughs> and, and and on my part, a very important schedule. Boom conflict, roasted. To be able to catch my flight, to be able to yeah, go like, to the sheriff's all you station to, know. to pick up my certified civil protection orders against Lynette Preston and John Cook because they cannot be served to anybody else. I had to be in Ohio in, per in person at Summit County Sheriff to receive those then to go to see my lawyer why, why did you have to get served with something because that's the way the system works i'm yeah. served as well he He's served he up. served i'm served the issue is of november 30th in the morning you did not need to be there to be served you did not now we know need to be there to sign any documents because it doesn't even well. take place till the december 1st date no, sir. The issue is I had a scheduled flight to be there and do not believe I could have gotten another flight to be there on time. Did you ever set your lawyer straight when he was standing in front of this court saying that you had to address matters in Ohio tomorrow morning related to this situation? Yeah, I have discussed this office. with my representation. Yes. He stood in court. You were standing right next to him. We're sitting right next to him where he, he said nothing about it's because his flight's tomorrow and it might cost yeah, him inconvenience. And I would have considered that. He did say that. he had a flight. No doubt that I would. He did. He it did say it. He did. He did. I would have he also inquired like I am now. I've watched Somehow, it a half a dozen times I, too, I Judge, and he said it. requires you to physically be present in another state when you can sign it here. We have plenty of notaries. You could swear before me you could have sworn a document in court. The following morning, what an ass. And sent it to your lawyer up there, and I could check with your lawyer in Ohio. Not if he had to have the that protection order from the sheriff first. To you to He's actually going to take time out of his Ohio day and back to call the Ohio attorney to find out if he could have done it another way. This guy who says he's so busy that he can't, you know, hear the respondent's case ever. I can't get over this man. By the way, the Thank chat is have. saying, pay attention to Lynette. She's texting in court. Yes, oh, she and do you think but he's going to have like ex parte communications with somebody with his attorneys in Ohio? 
yeah. just on his own. Yeah, he's going to check with the attorney in Ohio to find out if he if if Jeremy's telling the truth. That's what he just said. Then issue an order to show cause. No, which he did not do. No, so is he allowed to call the the his attorney? No. His, well, so but he could issue he an order to show about? cause, and then Jeremy would have to find a way to get his attorneys to submit an affidavit, some sort of statement that this is what needed. He had to do these things. Oh, this is unbelievable. But in denying the continuance that they filed the day before because she alleged Mark Feathers bribed her, that's the only reason Shockett's there. He had to find an attorney in less than 24 hours. The so Shockett's like, I can't be prepared. I need a continuance. And so the judge is just being pissy about what happened the first year. All right. Well, let's watch Lynette and see if she is texting. Uh-oh. Stop spinning. Just play. Crying out loud. All right. While that's spinning, I'll read a couple of super chats. How about that? All right. Gina Hampton Dukes, thanks for the super chat. Says hair fluff, gruff stuff, ego puff, talk enough to Thomas. Stop. <laughs> Margaret Tear, thanks for the super chat. Russ gets up and leaves 40 minutes Whoa. later in the bo bomb scare. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Maybe he called it in himself. Oh. Rob Guy, thanks for the super chat. Yes, must run wild with that. Lori DeJesus, thanks for the super chat. Says, shouldn't an Ohio court order override this Florida circus? And Somebody in my comments was like, uh, we today. should all show up to the and court in kangaroo costumes next time. The court is <laughs> sure this is a kangaroo court. <laughs> Margaret Tier, thanks for the super chat. Says, the Granger's owner's campsite and Therese was mayor the up the other week. Is that really we're now here today with another it, lawyer YouTube. asking for another continuance. All right, hold on. I'll refresh this. Maybe that's what it needs. Maybe it needs a refresh, like to Thomas's hairstyle. This hair is getting uh, it's like getting wilder by the second. You don't like the Gallagher cut? Uh, I'm not a big fan. No, I'm not a huge fan of the Gallagher so cut. He doesn't need a little gavel. He needs a giant mallet to. to, to, to. Yeah. <laughs> God, it's so funny. All right, Kelly Birdaw, thank you for the super chat. It says, yet LP just had to give a gas receipt for missing Depo and her mom allegedly dying. And now she says that she's not dead. Judy Flackney, thanks for the super chat, says, did you see that Feathers was deemed guilty of contempt for giving JH the video? Uh, yes, JH needs a chance to present his side. Uh, shut up, Judge. Um, he was held in contempt, but they didn't make him pay the fine. So how contemptible really was it? Kimberly Mogan, thanks for the super chat, says, hi, uh, something's to a person he has a row on. No, I can't read that. I'm sorry. I don't, I think it was a typo. Karen Karsten, thanks for the super chat, says, Judge D Semantics. Um, let me try shutting down YouTube Studio. Maybe that'll help. Let's see. And Dennis Copper, welcome to the Fox Den. Thanks for being a new member. Ty Powers, uh, thanks for the super chat, says, I believe he never checked. And yeah, no, he never like called the lawyer. No, he was just threatening to do it because he was harassing Jeremy. Clerics, thanks for the super chat. Judge Liar Beaties. Liar Beaties. He also has Deniabetes, I heard. That's funny. Tracy Fagan, thanks for the super chat, says, I plead the fifth. My Adventures in Home Brewing, thanks for the Super Chat, says, WTF, grudge, drudge, Judge Grudge strikes again. This guy is uh, he's off the hook. Cherry Adamski, thanks for the Super Chat, says, dang it, MG, now I want watermelon. Were we talking about watermelon? I don't remember. What What is what is Gallagher, happening? Gallagher. Oh, right, Gallagher. Gallagher. Is my my YouTube just going just gonna to not work anymore? Like, what is the deal, YouTube? stop it's like it won't even stop spinning when i say is, stop is brad able to because what i've had to do with my because my computer like for some reason stream yard and like edge just soaks up all my resources is i'll have one of my co-hosts stream the video and i just yeah i could see it, i could see it if larry's around if larry can do larry it i'll, I'll send it to it. him i'm putting the uh the link in the chat. We're at minute twenty five forty nine. Yeah, but they'll have to pause when you need it paused. Yeah, which you know is fine. Uh, all right, it looks like it might work now. Florida. There we go. 
My concern is your lawyer was misrepresenting something to the court. Oh, for God's sake. And got away with it, with a continuance to today. And what's relevant about that, aside from the issues with the lawyer, is that we're now here today with another lawyer asking for another continuance. Yeah, but that has nothing to do with the first continuance. I've got to be concerned about your ability to present your case because I've got to decide this case for, for the interests of both of you. And the lawyering. And you haven't even started doing that. To some extent of that. Now, I haven't gotten to the next motion to continue. We're going to get to it in a second. This guy is a dumbass and I can't handle it. The court makes a finding that there is non compliance with this court's order dated December 4. What was the non compliance? What order? December 4 he order? Had filed, they filed a motion included the language to continue that they were requiring. And the judge wanted documentation. The travel itinerary. Oh, he did unbelievable. Travel and they didn't give him everything that he needed. Plane to Ohio unbelievable. Time for hearing on the morning of 12 1 to corroborate that he did appear and that he was required to be there when we now know that's not exactly what it was, nor would it have been if properly truthful. But he allowed the continuance. So why doesn't he hold himself in contempt? Represented to the court. And I'm not saying, Mr. Hales, it's all on you, but you're sitting there while your lawyer is representing to this court and misleading the court and nothing was done to prevent it. And nonetheless, what's relevant for today is that got you, that bought you a continuance. And now you're asking for another one. For God's sake. Yeah, he's asking God for another one because she about alleged bribery. Continuance. So as of now, there's non-compliance with the, cut, the court's prior order based largely in part on the misrepresentations. Misrepresentation. Wow, what a word. Yeah, you're misrepresentation. Lying to me. Candid, uh, representations made to this tribunal on November 29 by counsel at the time, Mr. So the chat's telling me that YouTube is having outages today. Is it? Yeah, it's also I think everything is having outages. Yeah. Instagram, Facebook. With respect to the There's nothing sus the suspect court. about that at all. And uh, yeah. you guys, um, we have an appointment at noon uh, right here at the post office. So Context. we're going to dip out. But um, okay. really appreciate you having us, Megan. Yeah, no problem. I love that you, you came and it's good to see both of you. And, uh, you know, this story just keeps on getting nuttier and nuttier. Can't wait to see what you're going to do next, Larry. What is coming up for you next? So next, we're going to finish up the uh, the third portion of the petition. I'm probably going to do that tomorrow. Uh, so there's like two parts left. There's a, about 238 pages, but we're going to fly through those because they're all like Facebook posts and stuff like that. Chandler has been very busy redacting them and going over, make sure that all the redactions are, are accurate. And so um, we have, uh, she has pretty much completed that. So we're going to finish that tomorrow. Then what we have coming up is, let me, let me see what, uh, there we go. So, uh, no, this is not the one, sorry, one second. Here we go. Uh, so the, the new stuff that I have going, coming on is, uh, well, I want to do, there's a, there's a video that I have already up talking about uh, a case that I have. I represent Craig Hendry and possibly Travis Hines. He has not yet hired me. And again, I, the only reason I can penetrate the attorney-client privilege because he did it first, and therefore he, there is no attorney-client confidentiality. Um, I want to talk about the video uh, that you and Tug did yesterday, and I want to do a video of my own about the whole Judge yeah. Thomas was being a character witness. That's also coming up. Um, and then we have, uh, a very interesting, very interesting, um, somebody reached out to me by the name of, I'm just going to say his first name, Bruce. I don't know if he wants his last name revealed, but Bruce has been dealing with, uh, he's an attorney. He's been a, a lawyer for like 20 years and he's been dealing with his own corruption with the Connecticut disciplinary authority. So that's going to be next week, next Thursday. And then I have a bunch more stuff. I just don't want to tease too much because then people will be like, Larry, you said you're going to do this. And it will be like two, three weeks from now. And 
I don't want to keep people, um, uh, you know, busy or whatever. So wondering what, where am I going to do it? So those are the, the two, three things coming up over the next four things coming up over the next two weeks. Well, awesome. That sounds great. I'm looking forward to it, especially I'm looking forward to hearing your stream on the uh, stuff we found on the witness testimony, because mm -hmm. I find that to be incredibly terrible. I'm also going to write an article about it. So there will be more info for you. You can share that by Ooh. that time. Looking forward. Uh, I'm looking forward to that very much. Yeah. And then Chandler have... has got stuff coming up, too. Yeah. What's going I do. on? I do. Um, I'm going to do a Wicked Women episode coming up soon. Um, I have Courtney Clenny, who I'm going to cover. I'm going to do some updates in the Courtney Clenny case, the fatal stabbing in Miami. A uh, girl stabbed her boyfriend. Um, that's going to be really interesting. And I'm also going to be uh, potentially talking, I'm not sure if I'm going to have him on, but um, uh, Turtle Boy, Aiden Kearney, has had um, some new Me Too developments in his case, uh, some collusion with the cops. If you guys haven't seen that video, uh, we covered it the other night. Uh, please check that out on DUI Guy Plus. Um, and I will let you know about the schedule. I also have something uh, on the stove that I need to go turn off. So bye everybody. Right, well, everybody go me. subscribe, go subscribe to Chandler Remington on YouTube and Larry DUI guy plus Larry Foreman, subscribe to him as well. Make sure that you uh, hit like on all their stuff and follow. Uh, all Megan, right. Yeah. Megan, uh, the, the chat is up in arms. Something about what the, the sheriff. Okay. 1155 scroll up on your comments. What the hells are in the chat? Uh, okay. The sheriff okay. just put an email in our hands at the county meeting that there is a hit placed on us. What? Uh, Jeremy, do you want to? If you want to come on, I'll send yeah. you a. I'll send you a, an invite. So yeah, hold on, you guys me. take care of that and keep me posted, Megan. Text hold me right. if, uh, if anything goes south. I'm I'm on it. We just have okay. to go do this thing in like two minutes, and it's right down the street. All right. All right. right. We'll do. Bye. Bye. All right. Bye. Uh, Jeremy, let me send this email real quick. Uh, let me get him a link in case Jeremy and George want to come on here. That sounds pretty serious. Wow. That sounds bad. Well, and I did see that she filed in the case uh, a notice of request for production or something like that yesterday. Filing petitioner's request to produce. So I'm not sure what they're wanting to produce, but she has filed something, even though the case is, well, <clears throat> It's not, te I mean, it's stayed, but technically, uh, it is, he does retain jurisdiction pending the appeal. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Judge I can't pull up the actual document. Are you talking about Judge Thomas's? Yeah, he does retain jurisdiction over pending matters during this time. But she has, you know, Silverman has filed a notice of filing petitioner's request to produce. I see the docket entry. I don't have access to the actual documents. See, it was was filed yesterday. I don't know. Wait, what was filed yesterday? The notice of petitioner's request to produce. So I don't know what she's wanting to be produced. Oh, okay. But hmm. something to do with documentation. You know, I, I mean, okay, before everybody panics, a lot of times, though, people will say things or post things online that they don't necessarily mean um, or, you know, have no way of planning of actually pulling it off. Um, oh, he's on the way to, his, the way attorney to his attorney right, right now. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, too. I would be too. Well, this is I mean, you have to take it seriously, but let's hope that it's just Internet shenanigans uh, and not real. Um Hmm. Okay. For those of you who are watching on Larry's channel, I guess I need to go and drop a link to this in his chat because a bunch of you are like, if he leaves, we're gonna we're gonna, we don't know where to go. Well, Megan <laughs> Fox Investigates is uh, where I am. Let me. I'll get over to Larry's chat and see if I, I'm a mod over there. I can post a link, so I will do that. Uh, but I have to first get a link. And then I will try to drop one in there for you guys to come on over. Um, that's that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, look, this. Okay, who was I talking to? Oh, Steve Gosney. So Steve Gosney, after looking at this case, he said what bothered him is that this case is going to end up in in criminal court. That that's, that's gonna, what's going to happen. Yeah. It's going to happen. There's no doubt about it in his Either mind. Way. 
yeah. that this was going to end up in criminal court because he said these cases do not resolve like this. They no. resolve when someone breaks the law and commits a crime against someone else. And that's really unfortunate. All right, here you guys go. Here's my link for you guys. I've dropped it in Larry's chat. If you guys want to pop over here, I don't know if his chat will continue to just go if he leaves it up. I'm not sure, but if if not, you can come and uh, and just pop on over to mine. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So Steve was saying that he's he thinks that this is going to end up in oh, criminal definitely. court. I mean, once once you violate the protective order, then you're held, you'd be held in criminal contempt. And so the, the, I know the Ohio courts are looking into it, but they could be thrown in jail for violating that order. Uh, showing up to the town hall meeting that George was at, and she has a protective order against Lynette and John, and, and Lynette showed up. When? What? When was that? Um. I'm not sure. It, it happened after the order was the protect the Ohio order was entered, and I don't know when it was. But Jeremy wasn't at the meeting, but George was. She mentions it. Lynette mentions it in the hearing. In the mm -hmm. I think in the first hearing. So this was a while ago. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, the Ohio courts got to investigate it, and, and they have to bring the motion for contempt. So. And look who's joining us. Uh, it's Tug. Hey there, Tug. Hey, Tug. Uh, we had some. We have some uh, breaking breaking news going on here. Apparently, Jeremy and George Hales have been a, in. They've been informed by the sheriff uh, that a hit has been put out on them, and he's on his way to his attorney right now, or he would be here. Um. Dang. Apparently there was a town hall meeting a couple of weeks ago that she showed up to as well. Last week. Yeah. Last week she showed up to one. What does that even mean? I mean, I, I don't know. I guess the sheriff got a, 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 like a, you know, a viable threat against them. Why else would he tell him that? Yeah. I mean, if the, yeah. Yeah, law enforcement themselves are making contact, that's, ooh, <laughs> that's something. Yeah. Well, it's good to have at least law enforcement somewhat looking out for you. Yeah. Uh, Tug, I'm building a tanning salon. Let's see. <laughs> That's so this is going to be the perv room, and this is going to be where the victim is. And I have to work on the um, outer area where the secretary is and where she's talking to police. That will be out here. So I'm today's project is we're working on a tanning salon to, <laughs> that will uh, it'll hook up to the courtroom. It'll hook up to the courthouse. So the courthouse is over here. We'll hook up the tanning salon to the courthouse because apparently the judges in this town are very, they're so connected to everybody and, and everything that if you're connected to their little cabal in Levy County, you can harass women and film them naked in a tanning salon and keep your law license. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. I must be doing this wrong. <laughs> I know. We're, we're, I mean, we, look at all the perks just, that I can have. It's pretty, just it's don't just know the, the right kind of people. A we just oh, don't man. know the right people. Yeah, you could have got you a tan punch card, everything. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> don't forget the ladder. Well, I already put a <laughs> so I put a step stool. Do you see the step stool? I'm and it even has a little peg on it for the oh, guy perfect. to stand oh, on. Perfect. <laughs> I'm just looking for this piece right here. I'm looking for the finishing piece up there. And then and did you see the little tanning, the little tanning thing? Look at it's got lights on it and everything. It's got, I, the lighting is not great. There's even a hook for your clothes for or a clothes. towel. See that? Or your See selfie that? stick on the other one. Yeah. Selfie. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So we're working on that. Um, well, I hope that this turns out to be a hoax. Let's hope that this is not a serious. Well, um, didn't she threaten them before that she was going to have like ex-cons or something come after them in Ohio? See, I don't know a lot about the threats that he said he was getting from her. I don't know a lot about it because we don't have, we don't have like the, the thing from Ohio, all the paperwork from Ohio. And maybe that's the next thing I need to ask for is the paperwork from Ohio. Um, I wonder if there's Ohio court footage. I don't know. I'm going to ask. They may not, they may not, you know, if it's uh, you know whether it being domestic or 
you know, the family court type stuff. Maybe they don't broadcast that stuff. They don't come. They don't. No, do no, 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 no. Would it, you think that would be family court in Ohio as well for a protective order? I, I, could, I don't know. I mean, it's you know they, they don't. We don't broadcast anything. We don't have any sort of video trials at all in, in Oklahoma. All right, I want to go check Jeremy's community page on what the hail. So if we see if he put something up, how are how did everybody hear about this? Was this he something was in that? Chat. Oh, he was in the chat. He I was missed in him. Chat. Said, yeah, oh, I, I missed him it. in the chat. Uh, it says three hours there. ago. So three hours ago, he put up this uh, that said Judge Grudge denied our petitions for injunctions against Lynette and John Crook, and then sealed all the information from the public. That must have been when he first initially went after went after them, right? That wouldn't it has be, to be yeah. That wouldn't be like right now. So that was the last thing that he posted. Um, all right, the chat's telling me there's no Ohio video. Yeah, he, he would have it if there was. Okay. That's too bad. Well, I wonder if there's Ohio files though, filings and whatnot that we could read. Um there might be transcripts, although transcripts, if they haven't ordered yeah. them, there are a lot of transcripts are a lot of money. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go through the super chats. Brian Watkins. Thanks for the super chat. Judge Grudge had a YouTube, had YouTube shut you down, Megan. <laughs> uh, Claire Kershaw. Thanks for the super chat. LP texting Russ. Um, that is what it looked like. La uh, Jive 64 Taylor. Uh, thanks for the super chat says judge fudge. Green Monster, thanks to the Super Chat, says, I'll bet she's texting the ex-mayor behind her for advice. It is weird how he doesn't stop her from texting in the courtroom. Attorney Silverman says, my Uncle Daddy only had Lynette give him a fuel receipt when her mom didn't die. Not actually silver scam. <laughs> Attorney <laughs> Silverman. Yes, thank you, Attorney Silverman. We, we appreciate that. Lisa Jewett, thanks for the Super Chat, says, February 20th. What's February 20th? What happens on February What happened? On oh. Wait. Maybe that was a town hall that she showed up to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Lisa Somebody Wilson. Somebody said there was one last week, too. At the last town meeting. Okay. Uh, thanks for the super chat. Proud Auntie of 2NL. Thanks for the super chat. Says they breached the PO last week. They stayed over an, uh, one and a half hour. Sheriffs were called and told them to leave when they were already leaving. And John blocked Jin? Or jo do you mean George? Yeah, okay. I think George, George is the one that went to the meeting. Well, why haven't they arrested them yet? Why do they keep letting them go if they're breaking a protective order? I, that I don't understand. Because cops hate dealing with protective orders. Yes, they, they do. They uh, do. Came that Red Queen, thanks for the super chat, says no use in Ohio courts. Um, and Sandra Kelly says, odd that Megan uncovered corruption with all judicial in the 8th District and Jeremy gets a notice of a hit on him. Ooh. I told you last night, Tug, I was like, this is going to get a lot worse before it gets any oh, yeah. better. Oh, yeah. If it gets any better at all. Mad Shammy, thanks for the super chat, says there is no Ohio video. Okay. Sarah Adams says, in AI world, you are frightening. <laughs> <laughs> Janice Wingfield, thanks for the super chat, says, yes, Lynette and Crook did make threats to Jeremy and George for things to happen to them in Ohio. And where were those threats? Were they posted on the internet? Like, were they verbal were they how how were they communicated <clears throat> came at red queen thanks for the super chat says no video in ohio courts only sound oh well if there's audio i would love to listen to that she gave out the yeah, zoom link to audio, people and judge got cool. angry and threatened contempt yeah that's what i've been hearing but yeah if it's if it was audio that should be uh we should be, be able to hear that it. there should be a copy of that yeah. unless All the right. judge has ordered it sealed All right. Uh, MG, have, do, do we know how to get that CD I want to get for the, uh, um, who do I ask for the, uh, CD the the court, the Kirk, um, clerk, yeah, the Kirk clerk, the court, court clerk, court yeah, clerk? It would probably have to be the court clerk. And you know who that is? The son of one of the guys on that tape. <laughs> well, it would be, no, it, this was a bar proceeding. The one that you discussed, y'all discussed last night for the bar yes. proceeding. Yeah. May and the to, court may clerk. have to get it from the from the wasn't it it was in front of was it a it opened oh, it was the, was it wait, a bar association wait it was the supreme court of florida yes yeah, so you should be able to get it i should be able to handle that. he's not yeah. he's not the clerk of the supreme court he's the clerk of the eighth circuit and it did not happen in the eighth circuit okay good okay good yeah 
I'll just find out whatever court that that hearing was held in. All right. Uh, and Kayla Byte just has a good idea. I can we can maybe get that audio from the court clerk in Wayne County, Ohio. All right, that's something that I can look into. Hmm. We can maybe ask a potential criminal, Sean, because he's up there. DUI guy said, add feathers to Lego court. Well, I have to find feathers first. I don't think I have any feathers, but I, I have a lot of Legos up here. That I can start <laughs> looking through to find some. Maybe I can find a feather pen or something to stick on the judge's desk. Um, Jay did file. Okay, so what is this? Jay... Jay did file, thank you, Lisa, for the super chat. Jay did file to receive injunction in Florida and Craig denied and sealed. It appeared briefly on the court docket and disappeared the same day. Yeah, I heard about that. Um, I had not looked at it. Um, I hadn't, like, I, I don't think he put it up on the drive that I'm looking at. Chris Almeida, thanks for the super chat, says, why isn't the Ohio judge putting out a warrant for her arrest? Interest and don't, interest and don't get that. Um, well, it depends on, I don't know. I don't know how that works across state lines. He can't. Can he? Can an Ohio judge issue a warrant across state lines? Uh, well, I mean, he would, a bench warrant would be issued, and if they ever got picked up or the sheriff's department in Florida got hold of that warrant, they would go and pick her up. They the problem is getting them to do that, too. Yeah, yeah like getting them to do No interest. Yeah. I mean, they can know where but, I mean, if she it. goes anywhere and gets pulled over for an infraction, they're going to run to see if she has warrants, and then they, they'll detain her usually. Um, and then ask whether they want, you know, Wayne County wants her extradited. Hmm. Because it could be that they have a whole, you know, a hold order on, on that warrant. They pick her up and have to hold her till. Ohio figure, figures out what they want to do. All right, hold on. Let me see. Man. <laughs> she rambles so much in her documents. It, I, I've never I've never had to redact so many stupid things in my life. Are you redacting that 300 page thing? Uh, I'm, I'm actually, I'm redacting, yeah, I'm redacting the 338. A lot of that, though, is... Uh, it's screenshots, but my God, some of it. I'm I'm going through and trying to pull out specific names and. Phone. Can you believe that a judge took that seriously? No, honestly, can you believe that a judge actually took that seriously? I can't. I, I can't. That, that is uh, such me a either. Justice. It's outrageous. Mm. I mean, when right. you read that. I can't believe I'm looking at a document that, you know, it says things like in his post, Mr. Hale says that I've called him. I'm going to call him a cigarette boy. You know what I mean there? And his girlfriend, a sand, you know how that goes. And your honor, oh <laughs> you know, God. I'm like, wow, what, what a sentence. What a sentence. What a sentence. Oh, she, yeah. we also missed another one tug that she said later on where they, oh, they yeah. called her a scummy, a scummy C word. Cut. Yeah. Scummy yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that one needs oh, to be on the shirt. Uh, you know, if she knew how to monetize this, she would have already put that on a shirt and sold a ton of them. Oh yeah, for for sure. That's what I would have done. Yep. She needs to learn how to grift. Yeah, for real. I've been I've been selling mole traps, like shirts, and all kinds <laughs> of stuff. Teddy O'Hearn, thanks for the super chat. Says DA told LC Sheriff not to enforce CPO. The DA? Who is the DA? I wonder if he's one of the guys. Who's the DA? Let's find out. Is he one of the guys that was the witness for the tanning salon perv? Who is the district attorney, Levy County, 8th Circuit? Uh... <laughs> Some of these documents. <laughs> Brett Granger asked me on voting day why I had my child in a dog crate. <laughs> Sir, it was a $300 playpen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah I that. Uh, so this is, this oh, is the man. guy. He looks like the rest of them that we were looking at last night, but his name isn't on here. Isn't that weird? How come his name isn't on here? Let's go to about. Oh, Brian Kramer. Nope, not one of the guys that was on the uh, witness list. Maybe he's a decent dude. Maybe he's a good dude. Maybe this is the one guy in Levy County, but maybe not if he told the sheriff not to enforce the CPO. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. Is it this guy? This is the guy who did that? I mean, I don't know. Should I call him and ask? 
You know it's what? That's not, Let's That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. We're doing it live. <laughs> Should I call him and ask if he won't enforce the the if he was if he told the sheriff not to enforce an order, an Ohio protective order? Let's see. Yes, definitely. They won't. He won't comment. Yeah. But Journalism at least you have that. Well, what I might do is send him a press inquiry on an email because. Oh, yes. There's a paper trail then. I mean, he. I probably won't get him Some on the phone. Some people are saying it's the state attorney, not the DA. So, we, yeah. So, I need to know who it is. Okay. Who's the state attorney? The state attorney? Like the, like the attorney general? The attorney general? No. I mean, norm, normally, I mean, the office of the state attorney, that must be what they call them, the district attorneys down there. Yeah, a lot of people are saying state attorney. Yeah. Well, this is yeah, the guy. It's He, yeah, he is, is the, the office of the state attorney, but he's the one for yeah. the Eighth Circuit. This is the state attorney. Oh, no, there's somebody saying it's the attorney general's office that told them not to enforce. That doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. The attorney general, who is the attorney general of uh, <clears throat> Florida? That that doesn't make sense. Yeah, several but... people are saying it was the AG. No, Ashley no, Moody. It, could, it, no, it couldn't be her. Yeah, the big thing they need to do is get a, get an order, get a bench warrant issued in Ohio somehow, and then hire a bounty hunter. Trust me when I tell you, it is not the attorney general. It has to be the, the local district attorney, if anybody. If it's any, if anybody did yeah, what you're saying was local, done, the local it's got to be the local. Attorney. Trust me that the attorney general has no idea what's going on in, in exactly. Bufu, Levy County, okay? Attorney general has no shits given about what's going on in Levy County. They do not know and they do not yep. care unless it's brought to their attention and some shit is going on and they need to deal with it. But trust me, it's not the attorney general. That can't be. You, somebody misheard. They have too much to do. Um, I am, though, I think it, we might have reached Archie Ruckus cam. Hold on. We may be able to turn on the dog cam. I would do a I mean, cat cam, but my cat is constantly trying to go. Oh, we did. Ruckus cam, ruckus cam is coming. Oh, look, he's sleeping in his bed with his toys all around him. Look how cute. Aw, ruckus cam. He's so cute. Um, all right. Juliet Morgan says, I'm worried for what the hell's safety. Well, of course. I mean, I think we're all yeah. concerned about it. And that was always a possibility. You know, when you get into these feuds, you know, the Hatfields and McCoys is a real story. Cool. Yeah, John Bryson, uh, yeah, go ahead. Say, it says it will be a U.S. marshal that would bring Lynette and John back if there is a warrant issued. Um, yeah. Because they said if it's state lines, he says we do it all the time and that they are watching. Mm hmm. Colleen T., thanks for the super chat, says the Levy County law enforcement keeps saying they can't find the injunction from Ohio. That's a stupid excuse. He can just hand it to him. Mad Shammy, thanks for the super chat, says he only takes it serious as a chance to make law. Right. Yep. The judge, that's what he wants to do here. Lisa Jewett, thanks for the uh, super chat, says state attorney, not DA. And I think in I think they just called the DA yeah, I think the it's state the attorney. Lisa Wilson, thanks for the super chat, says it wasn't the DA. It was the, no, it was definitely not the attorney general. I can tell you that for, with certainty. Dana Harper, thanks for the super chat, says Jeremy said he would f hire a, bo a bounty hunter to return them to Ohio. Well, that's not a get dog. bad idea. Get dog the bounty you should hunter. get dog. Get dog. <laughs> dog will do it. Uh, yeah, he may have to hire security. I mean, if he's, I mean, it, this is this is so silly. But he can't. He can't. He can't be around anybody with a firearm. I know. So crazy. he can't have armed security. That's that's madness. You know what? This is one of those times where civil disobedience comes into play. Oh, yeah. You, you, just, just... you, you do not obey. You do not obey illegal orders like that that, exactly. that. that that will require you to give up your own safety and be held without your own self-defense under this illegal order by this judge in the first place. This the the entire order against him is not legal. The constant extensions and all the others. It's all it's all shit. So if I'm him and I'm not giving him legal advice, but if it's me, I'm going to defend myself regardless of what that judge says. I'm going to 
arm myself if I need to and get the hell out of town. I'll hire security or whatever and just disregard the judge's orders on this. Disregard. I'm sorry, but I, I wouldn't do it. I, I will not follow an illegal order that would put my family at risk. No, absolutely not. You wouldn't let a bunch of crazed rednecks get you killed? Wow. That's a... No, I don't think I would, Tug. Hmm. I, all this hillbilly shit is totally and completely <laughs> not in my wheelhouse. Hmm. Reminds <sighs> me of home. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they do want to run them out. That's what this is about. And you know what? Frankly, it might be time to go. It might be time to go. You're not. What we found last night, I told Tug when we were talking about it last night, what we found last night made me feel very concerned about how this is going to go for them. If there are five judges involved and a bunch of DAs and a bunch of state attorneys in covering up for one another, then there is no chance in hell that he's going to get justice in this place as an outsider. Do you think so, Tug? <sighs> no, even with a different, even with a different judge, it's no, not going to matter. I mean, I don't, you know, that's, that's, you, that's, that's a hard prediction to make, though. That's why you need a million eyes on something, though. I mean, that's you know, that's that's pretty well. Yeah. I mean, if, as long as they can keep it in the shadows, no, I don't think you can ever get justice. In well, because like even if he's removed, people are not going to stop focusing on this because they're going to see what the new judge does. I mean, I've had judges recused before and the next judge, uh, hopefully the next judge isn't wanting to try to make case law. I think that's the reason this guy's doing this. He wants his name on an opinion on an appellate, be, be involved in an appellate opinion, making new law. Yeah, I think that's what he wants too. But I think another judge though, I think they're all very aware by this point. I'm sure the entire eighth circuit is now aware of this case. And I'm sure they're all very nervous and don't want to be embarrassed and stuff. And if and I think they're probably more likely to lash out at him than anything know. else. Maybe maybe at the judge. I mean, I, I would say that maybe that you know behind closed doors they're like, okay, he really needs to just go, but they're not going to say it to his face. <laughs> Here's a random question: uh, Does um, does Otter Creek have a Walmart? Uh, probably not. There's only like 150 people. I oh, mean, Walmart's see. everywhere. I'm just curious. <laughs> Otter Creek, Florida, Walmart. Let's see. There is one in Chiefland. How close is that? I don't know. I don't know where yeah, these. This says no. There's not one. Okay. Let's actually look. Let's look at what is this place called? It's called Otter Creek. Yeah, yeah. like like the animal otter. All right. O t t e o. Let's pull up uh, Google Earth. Let's take a oh, look yeah. at Otter. Let's take People a look were at Otter. People to Creek. do that last night was to pull up the satellites while we were watching the the fish and wildlife video. They're like, bring up the set, bring up the, the Google Maps of this place. Florida. See, yeah, I think I, I think any place with a Walmart ruins the deliverance theme because you can always run to Walmart yeah. and get away from the rednecks, but this place. All right. Well, can you really, come on, bring can me you in really there. Get away I want the rednecks there. I want to see it. Can we? It's like they're. Whoa. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess since they have their uh, their cousins' cousins working in right. Walmart. All right. So this is this is it. This is Otter Creek. Just this tiny land. Oh, this is the Shady Oaks campground. Isn't that where uh, where they were staying before they went moved to their uh, land? Shady Oaks campground here. Uh, how do I move around on this thing? I'm not good at this. Drag it. You know, drag. I can drag. Try. There we go. Drag. All right. Let's back up a little bit. What else is here? So there's a, a school, the water reclamation place, the town hall. We know a lot of shit's going on over there at the town hall. <laughs> I got the town of Outer Creek Park and Recreation. So Parks and Rec is over here. We've got Tri-County Towing and Recovery. Is there any restaurant in this town or anything? This, what what is here? Sure, there there's can't gotta be, be much. There's gotta be a there's gotta be a restaurant. A oh barbecue. here, here's here over here on the right side is showing us some pictures of stuff that's here. So there's like a looks like a, a farmer's market at a gas station, an old broken down <laughs> barn house, a gas station that has no that's not working. Uh looks like a corner store that's not open. No restaurant. 
I'm no. not seeing any. That's what people are saying. They were like, no. <laughs> no. Wow, what the one, what, the one gas what station made closed. them what made them want to move here? Look at this place. This is a whole lot of nothing. And they were like, woo, a whole lot of nothing. Fresh I mean, fruit. I doubt actually, it. He said also the um, the cell tower. You know, there's a cell tower right there. So as far as what they do, you know, you have a signal. I mean, out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I tell you first hand. Land, I think. Well, I lived out in um I lived out in this little bitty town. It was um, a population of uh, 370, I think. And we had to, to, in order to get any kind of service, we had to have satellite service. It was the worst thing ever. Try, try. It's it's like going back to AOL with your uh, with your needs for YouTube. Let's take a walk. Let's take a walk in oh. Outer Creek, shall we? Oh man, this is going to be exciting. <laughs> Let's take a walk. Let's look around. Where are we at? Where are we at? This, it looks like there's like a, know, an old broken down shed over there. And on this side, we have a meth house. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Like, seriously, what do people do here? How do I move forward? Well, that's why they make a lot of meth <laughs> and, and shoot at people in the walls. How, yeah. come I don't, how come I don't know how to work this? I don't know what's, why I'm so bad at this, but I, I don't click, seem to be able to. Click on the arrow. Click on the arrow. Go to go oh, forward. I see. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. All and right. Take it a walk. Intersection. And you can what? change directions. <laughs> when you see, when you, when you see, if something gets in your way, turn. All right, let's. <laughs> yeah. let's Unless turn. it's a car, nothing's going to get in our way. <laughs> uh, let's. This is somebody's, this is somebody's dirt driving. road. This is yeah. somebody's dirt road and a couple of. So you sheds. won't be able to go down there, most likely. Okay. We'll just keep taking a walk in Otter Creek. We're walking in Otter Creek, folks. Oh, man, That's what we're doing. Oh look! Oh look! We found something. <laughs> <laughs> gas station to close this? down. What is this? Oh, hunting supplies and corn and bacon and corn. Tackle. Corn. Oh, it's corn. corn. It's corn. It's <laughs> corn. Buck on a cob. I love it. <laughs> All right, we got a place that has. Look, there's a mullet. Something. Oh, this Smoked. is the dangerous intersection that Judge makes Jeremy use. Is it? Is this where everyone so gets somebody, into somebody into meth spoke. wrecks or something? There's like meth heads that do a hundred and. Oh, there's the broken there's... down gas station. <laughs> It's sad. it's sad when you get excited over landmarks. You're like, oh, shit, there is something. Well, there is something. Should we go? Which way should we go? Left or right? Le or straight? So, Left or right or straight? So it's what a divided highway with no signal there. It's I'm, just like a, you know, the side road has. has scary. I'm afraid we're going to get hit on Google Earth. I'm afraid we're going to get hit in the road. Yeah. So make, just, <laughs> make a decision. Are we going? Are we? All right. Chat says left. No, the chat says turn around. No, the chat says right and go back. What the <laughs> hell? <chat's> lost. <laughs> the chat is lost. Go home, chat. You're drunk. No, <laughs> <it>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Splat. The chat says splat. Oh, okay, wait. This is the end of town. So I need to turn around and go back. Okay. All right. Yeah. So let's let's turn around. But I'm not I don't want to yeah. walk backwards. I want to turn mouse. around. Turn your mouth. You can click and drag. <laughs> there click we go. and drag. There we Keep go. Going. Hold on. <laughs> Keep going. All right. Now we're headed in the right <laughs> direction. <laughs> This might be the most fun I've ever had on Google Earth in my whole damn life. <laughs> Just wandering around Otter Creek. Ooh, hell to the no. Is that Lynette's property? What is that? What are we looking at? This is like a, a burned out uh, trailer. No. That's not it. That's but that's that's an eyesore. Somebody you that probably town... could get to her driveway though. Stuff like that is actually really common though. And if we knew where her, what her, where she was. That town and it's council public needs records, to. Somebody can get mad. They need to get on cleaning up these broken down houses. Everywhere. Nah, a lot like, of people, are, are they what? are they unincorporated? Because I mean, we're unincorporated oh, out sure. here. Nobody's going to tell us a damn thing out here. <laughs> I can walk. I can walk out my back door right now and start shooting my gun. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter. Nobody's. Gonna hey, people! Me. People! It's people. These look like the good people of Otter Creek. Look, they look like they might be nice people. They're carrying a watermelon. Stay away from the road. <laughs> <laughs> Megan's driving. Be careful. Stay <laughs> <laughs> Quiet in the back. No backseat drivers. I'm trying to concentrate. Oh, these people have watermelon all over the place. There's a. Do they know there's a watermelon in the front yard? Judge Judge De Thomas's must have been through there with his mallet. With his, yeah. <laughs> They're setting up for his next show. 
so there's like trailers here okay and it looks like a nice little fence and some palm trees we got some this is some real serious old ass florida right here you're gonna you, this is this is country rural florida i've oh. never heard of i've never seen this place this this uh Oh, the post office. They turned the old gas station into a post office. Hey, Jen Hale, thanks for letting me know that. That was uh, really good. That was really good uh, information there. So it's not really a broken down gas station. It's the it's the, it's post, the office. post office. That was the post office. Wow. Yeah, but yeah. they have no signs or anything. How the hell are we supposed to know that? <laughs> well, I mean, Google Earth probably doesn't go through their their little maps. That they don't we are, drive their cars through there once every ten years. Wait, why do you keep? Why is the chat saying back up behind me? What's behind me? <laughs> we were already there. There's nothing there. There's not. Back up keep behind going. you. We turn around. There's gonna be somebody wearing skin or something. You're gonna be <laughs> It puts the lotion in the basket. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's exactly oh, what was happening in that tanning is, booth. This place is scary. That's what it is. Puts I the mean, lotion on the skin or it can't tan here again. I know. I mean, I'm not, I'm not like, look, I have a deep appreciation for the good, hardworking people of this country who are poor and struggling. And uh, this looks like one of those places where it is very, very poor. There, we have seen. I don't think I've seen one house that isn't a mobile house yet. Maybe that one, Otter Creek Woodworks. What's that? What's Otter Creek Woodworks? Are they? Is this this dude making wood in his house here? That looks like a like a house. <laughs> He's making wood. <laughs> is he making wood? <laughs> He's building trees. <laughs> Phrasing. He's really good at his job. Look at all those trees. Listen, we are medium smart here. Medium smart. And that is and that is good enough. Oh, it's good oh, enough. Wow. 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 Cry oh, wolf. I don't have like a, a big button. What's what but what button can I push here that 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 expresses my my excitement? Oh, yes, so the fox, the fox squeal. I don't here. Here's one. My superpower is being honest. I'll eat your ass. I will. <laughs> I'll do it. I will eat your ass. Which I feel like is happening in this town. Cried Wolf, <laughs> thank you so much for the huge $100 super chat. Says, why are we driving in the middle of nowhere? Why do we have so many shovels? <laughs> well, uh, the thing is, is that I decided to take Tug and MG for a ride. Uh, we yeah. are driving, we're driving around Otter Creek. Uh, this is this you is the little. You can go to the schoolhouse. Somebody put the schoolhouse address in um, in the chat, and then another address below it. But, but don't, I, I want to yeah. know what that. What is this? This looks like a like some place to hold somebody for kid when you kidnap them. Look at it's got razor wire. What is this? Oh my god! Is that that's razor that, wire. What is that, is that the city jail? <laughs> is this the water reclamation place? Oh god, it could be. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it is god. it's the water plant. It is the water <laughs> treatment plant. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. All right, listen, Jeremy and George, you drove around this place and you were like, Yeah, I want to invest here. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. No, you didn't. Why? Oh, oh, Ermagerd. They were like, no one will ever bother us here, you know? I guess. Or to, we'll I, never be heard from somebody, again. I had to warn somebody somebody said to, to call Jeremy and then describe what we see to get directions. <laughs> 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 okay, we're going past the water treatment plant right yeah. now. How do we we're, get to we're, your place? We're lost in Otter Creek. Oh, look, here's the Christian school. That looks like a very nice little place. It's got some swings. It's one of the nicer buildings in town. It is, it is one of the nicer buildings in town. I had to warn you know, some uh, Californians off of Tennessee. They were talking about buying some really nice land out in the middle of nowhere. And I was like, yeah, no, that's that in California. <laughs> I was like, you don't want to move there. That is deliverance country for real. And that's probably been claimed by the banks. And they will probably kill you out there. <laughs> I wouldn't go out there. And I'm a native. 
If someone told me that someone would send me a hundred dollars for just wandering around some podunk town on Google Earth, I would do this all day long, every day. Oh yeah, for sure. Is this entertaining, you guys? You it, like it this? actually it's is right now. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What is this? Okay, so this is a nice little little area. Little little. At least this place is nicely upkept. Look, he's got bushes and the grass is mowed. He's got a nice fence. It's not broken down. This is a decent little place. Now, what we're doing right now is exactly what Lynette is told the judge is so terrifying to her that people drive by, take photos of her house. Well, why isn't she going after Google for cyber stalking? Because here we are looking at everybody's house on the road. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I don't know who lives here and I don't give a shit, but I mean, you're, you're allowed to see what's yeah, on the road. Anything you can see from the road is fair game. I mean, yeah. Or otherwise Google earth would be illegal. Hello. Yep. All right. So this is a nice little house. Look at, it. we found one. We found a nice little house and it has a political sign out front. They're Ooh. voting for somebody named Alan at this, whenever this was taken. <laughs> and this someone named Alan. And this is a, I think this is the schoolhouse. Let me get to the super chats because you people are trying to tell me something. A bunch yeah. of you are trying to tell me something. I'm not paying any attention because I'm, I'm driving. I have both hands on the wheel. Damn it. Mad Shammy. <laughs> thanks for the super chats. As a someone that has done bail recovery for over 28 years, you can't, hire us to go after someone legally and if you no, i think he was gonna hire them for his own protection you know mm -hmm. like hire some bail bondsmen like hiring somebody to go after Lynette, like a, a bounty hunter. you know pick her up from ohio that's what they were talking about oh i see and a few states consider that kidnapping so if she's out on bond and the bonds and the bondsman then can direct us to recover oh i gotcha i thought he meant he was going to hire a bail bondsman to help him Get out of town. That's what I thought. <laughs> oh, I thought he was, yeah, he wanted to go hire a bounty hunter to pick them up for violating the Ohio. Oh, I gotcha. Hot Rod Once 43. He gets a Megan, thank you for everything you do. I love you. I love you too. Thanks for being here. Dennis F., thanks for the super chat. Says sheriff said state attorney said not in sheriff said the state attorney said not to enforce the CPO. Okay, well, that would be that guy then that we found in the eighth circuit. That guy, yep. Kearney or whatever his name was. Paula Broadworth, thanks for the super chat. Flippin' Adventures in chat is Jeremy's Deanna. Hmm. Uh, Connie B, thanks for the super chat. Says Judge D should take pictures in a tanning booth. It is sure to be forgiven and potentially less career crushing. <laughs> yeah, apparently you just get 90 days, uh, uh, you know, a 90 day vacation and then you're good to go. Dennis Copper, thanks for the super chat. Says, I wonder if Jeremy will start wearing body armor under his hoodie. It's not a bad idea because he's a pretty big target. Judy Flackney, thanks for the super chat. Says JH in live said Ohio ordered Lynette and John to appear and they will be arrested there. They moved there due to central location to bigger cities. D. Robertson, thanks mm. for the super chat. Otter Creek is in the middle, two hours away from the major cities. Yeah, it's pretty far away. We can tell. Billy Bob Skiff, thanks for the super sticker. Appreciate you. Uh, Linda Evers, thanks for the super chat, says it was the prosecuting attorney of Levy County that said not to enforce the Ohio PPO. Yeah, that's what I thought. Billy Bob Skiff, thanks again for the super chat. OC can't get a dollar general, never mind a Walmart. Yeah, they don't appear to have any stores. I wonder how far the drive is to like a major store. It can't be a full two hours. Uh, Tracy Fagan, thanks for the super chat, says, wait, is this the road she's pushing her stroller on? <laughs> I don't know, because I don't know where her property is. Hey, where's Dead Dog uh, Road? I want to see it. Oh, Dead Dog Road. I want to see that look, road. Yeah, that's where we look, go. These little roads are so, um, so these roads are like, they're so small when I come across like a crossroad that there's no Google Earth going down them. Like we yeah, can only be on. Google Earth doesn't, doesn't dare drive down them. Yeah, we can only be on the we can only be on like the main road here. So okay, so a, a couple of you in the center. It's the center. Three major towns. Uh, oh, Vice Raid, welcome Vice Raiders. One fifty one North Otter Creek. What is that? What's that? What is one fifty one North Otter Creek? What is that? What? Where does that take me? You guys have to do better than this. Tell me where yeah, I'm going. Tell us what it is. Yeah. Tell us what it is. I can't just punch in an address. I mean, I could, but I don't, I need to know first. I don't, I don't want to go somewhere. I'm not supposed to go. What if it's 
scarier it's public, than this. It's public I, don't, scary. I don't know. You guys, I'm driving around Otter Creek. I mean, I could drive into a, I don't know, a nest of of corrupt judges spying on women in, in, <laughs> you can in drive, a cleaning you can salon. Anywhere. Wait, see, I can't go down Southwest 3rd Street. Won't let me. Google doesn't go down there, so we can only kind of peer down there. There appears to be like a, I don't know, what is that? Like a house and then a trailer park beyond it. Oh, that's the campgrounds. We're yeah. at the campgrounds. That is the campground. Yep, happy camper, happy camping. Which I believe the camp is that the campground full of meth heads or is that a different Probably. campground? <laughs> Listen, kids, don't do meth. It's bad for you. Drugs are bad. Okay. Drugs are super bad. I feel like we may be exiting the town now. Like, are, are we? Are we out of Outer Creek yet? It says we're in Chiefland now. So I think we left Outer Creek and we went to Chiefland. Yeah, I think we got to turn around. We got we got to turn around. We we got to back this bus up, guys. No, Google Earth, go the other way. What? Yeah, Not we're leaving up. town. They keep telling us to put that 151 North Outer Creek in there. Oh, that's all weird. right. Fine, fine. I'll do that. How do I do that? Let's see. I got to go to the. Uh, one five one. What was it? North Otter Creek. Otter there Creek. it is. Oh, right. Oh, oh we were, were a ways. while. We Across were a ways. Time. All right. Now, which, which, where, what is this? What is, what are we looking at here? Is this the turtle rescue? Are we, are we going to get some turtle rescuing happening? Oh, <laughs> man, that Lord. blur. I was like, oh. <laughs> if you're getting motion sickness, make sure you lean out the window to Ralph. Okay, no Ralphing, no Ralphing in the car, Tug. That can't be it. No, no what about? I? I feel like stop I've by the shed. Here. I'm gonna That's buy some it. meth. It'll. it'll <laughs> I feel like I've been here already. <laughs> yeah, that's not. It. Where are we? What is 151? Where are I? Went to the place you wanted me to go, and now no one still no one's told. Me. Oh, it's Jeremy's house. This is not Jeremy's house. <laughs> this can't be his house. Where's Turtle Purgatory? That's right, Robin Basket. That's Where what I need to turtle know. Turtle Purgatory. Where is Turtle Purgatory? All right, they're telling me that this is it. This is Turtle Purgatory. No, then it's not updated at all because I've got the video that doesn't show that. Or did you play that video last night? Yeah, I played it last night, yeah. Oh, all right. Send me the link. Put it in the private oh. chat. Let's go look at Turtle oh, Purgatory. I want to see it. I, I'm on my phone. I can't. Oh, no. Okay. I thought I sent it to you on, uh, on Twitter. I thought I sent it to you on Twitter. Oh, yeah, you probably Yesterday. did. Hold on. Yeah, yeah you did. both you and Jeff. Yeah, you did. All right. Let me scroll up into uh, our chat. It's, uh, it's like Quad States something. I can't remember what the Here name it is. of the channel is. Yeah. Here it is. Now let's hope that YouTube is working but for we us. We were very careful last night because the little girl is in it at times. We were. What? It took us a while to make sure that we didn't show her. Well, who put this on YouTube? It's a body cam a... footage from Fish and Wildlife. I mean, it's public record. Well, but if I they just, didn't I was just, blur out her face, how? Okay, well, I, know, I just wasn't. I didn't want to show the little girl. She's innocent and in all this, and so. But I mean, it, it's it's on it's on YouTube. It's public record. So I mean. You Boy, YouTube is really hating me today. It it does not want to work. <laughs> YouTube is just like, no, fuck yeah. you. It's just mirroring the signal in Otter Creek. <laughs> but they don't show up for the first. They're not there for the first while. The, the warden is there by himself at the beginning. Is he walking saying around anything? Is, is, no. there, is there anything interesting being said? Until until he he goes back out to his truck and then the, he does come back and they are, they come back and they're there and they do they do talk and walk the property. Whoa! But the first that's a lot of garbage. Just, you know, that's a lot of garbage. I don't know what's going on with YouTube. Somebody look up YouTube shortages. I mean, are there outages? Yeah, somebody said earlier there's outages because you got Facebook, Instagram, and I guess I think Facebook's having some issues. Or I'm, YouTube I'm, I'm pulling this up okay though. All right, well okay. why don't you share it? Because I'm yeah. having I'm having right, problems. I'm having problems, and because uh, you're in that. And, and as soon as I as soon as paradise. I stop, yeah, it is. As soon as I stopped sharing it, it started working. So 
you won't you won't be able to edit like anything computer, out if you, if you want to leave anything out okay. hey rumble i got some rumble rants going on over here uh just shelly thanks for the rumble rant says there is ohio video the judge requested jeremy not post it and he agreed it's not video it's audio um and welcome to the uh, fox den carla murray on on uh rumble thanks for being here I'm going to mute this. I'm just going to turn it on. Okay. Let's see. Let me <laughs> yeah. put that on there. All right. There we go. Man, this is some interesting, interesting oh, stuff. Yeah, it's bad. Wow. Just, did you see the, the turtle pools that they have? And, uh, the turtle the, going the wrong way. There's the gate. That's their game. Them. I'm, I'm, I'm turning him around. I'm sorry. Hey, we got lost. He's uh, like, no, a, walk forward. It's a gated community. A gated community. In the gated community. Is that a turtle pool? Yeah. Oh, my oh, Lord. <laughs> this is what I tell my Lord. But there's That's... like chickens and ducks ro running wild, and the, and the girl is running around barefoot. This is a turtle sanctuary? Yeah. I, I for, to, for to be fair, hey, to be fair though, out in the south, like half of our kids run around barefoot. They yeah, just need to keep the damn place not clean. Down there. Like I mean, you there's, said, there's, yeah. you got water moccasins and oh yeah, alligators, and you got all kinds of stuff running around yeah. there that we, you don't want to be out barefoot. Yeah, we don't have uh, alligators. We have a lot of water moccasins and stuff. Oh Lord, I don't know, guys. This is like. This is creepy. It is like turtle purgatory. That's a great name for it. That <laughs> might be my oh, that might be my next Lego project. Turtle, turtle purgatory. purgatory. <laughs> the water's gonna have to be green though. I have to oh, find some is. green it's, water yeah. Legos. <laughs> and a, what's this? A shed. Are they think, are they I think living that's in a where shed? They, that's where that she and shed. the girl or stay where they live in that in the shed i think i think that's the shed that they live in they live in that let me go back i want to look inside and then there's a cat turn it turn it he actually like calls out to the cat that runs by so oh. you, you don't have to mute this okay well i just muted it because we we're talking <laughs> I don't know if what was on it. man look at that hi kitty kitty <laughs> Well, I mean, I guess it's like camping forever. You know, you're just camping. <laughs> That's what I want to do. I want to live out in no air conditioning with a bunch of turtles and catch something as they and die. Snakes. Like, couldn't snakes just like wander into oh, your yeah. shed? <laughs> they will. Like, yes. They will very this much. Is, so. this, what is that? Is that the outdoor bathroom? I have the no beautiful, idea. the beautiful outdoor bathroom. No, it's another living Whoa. environment. I don't know. No, I think that shit, that other one is what they were supposed to be building. Is anybody here? That, that one he knocked on maybe their shed. Oh, the chickens. Oh, they've got the a tent. smell of that. Place. Oh, that stink. Can, can you imagine how much it stinks? It the... I have chickens, but they are away from my house because yes, they have them smell close. bad. Oh, what is that? That's time, a man. decent pen, though. Is that their chicken pen? They have, oh. they have a chicken pen. These are like I think these are all. Are those the turtle? I think. Pods? I don't know. Well, those don't look that bad. I don't know. I mean, that looks like some smarmy zoos I've seen in Florida. I mean, did you see that Tiger King guy's place? That's I mean, what that I was, was thinking, wreck. man. This, this is like, like Turtle like... King. It's Turtle, turtle King. King. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy Hill versus the Turtle King. Oh, my God. It is. It's so much like that story. Is. Carol Queen, Baskin is a what, what? What was it? Carol Baskin is a that bitch. Carol Baskin. Yeah. <laughs> he yelled, Baskin is a bastard one time. <laughs> that bitch, Carol Baskin. Oh, I love that. This yeah. is exactly like that story, except God, it's if you, you know, if you've been a documentary, this would be a lot like it too. Oh, <laughs> my God. This has got to be a documentary. This needs to be made into oh. a movie. This is the documentary we all need. 
I am expecting that bitch Carol Baskin to come out from one of these sheds with flowers on her head. <laughs> oh, no, man. Here, she might trade in the flowers for a chainsaw. Oh, Carol fucking Baskin. Yes, League of Isis. League of Isis, why are you watching this on Larry's channel? He's not even live. He's not even here. Why are you not over here on my channel? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start parking my channel on other people's live streams. I don't know how this works, but, like, a bunch of people are still watching on Larry's that's channel. He, but he may not have turned his stream off. He probably yeah, just probably exited stream. He just, he just exited yeah. the studio. He did that's not stop hilarious. his stream. Uh, Listen, if you people are over there sending super chats to Larry's channel and he's not even there, I'm gonna get pissed. <laughs> I'm doing the work. I'm, just, I'm gonna. Have, he's gonna have to send me a check. They should just show kidding. up in your. They should show up in yours, though. I would think they would know. just be for him. But they need to. Yeah, I don't know. I think you're right. I think I, we've never done this uh, dual streaming before. I think we have to. I think I have to stop it, and then it stops. I don't think he can stop it because no, he can. We're he can streaming. stop his own stream. Oh, he can. Yes, I think he just exited the studio. He did not. No, he left it on. He's like, stream. he's like, isn't this hilarious? You're I'm, like, oh, Larry, you bastard. Yeah, because I've done some dual <laughs> streaming before. Okay. Uh. Oh, good Lord. Does anybody ever come out? Yeah, yeah. They're not there at the moment, but in a few minutes, they are there. They do show up. So do they live in this van thing? Mr. Cook, I, think, I think he lives, John lives in that camper. Yeah, when he forced to. I think. Yeah, I know. Over th like 3,000 people are watching on Larry's channel. You know, Larry's not here, right, guys? You can come over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Larry's not here anymore. He had an appointment. You can come over here instead. Or you can stay there, I guess, because I have no control over it. I mean, but you're welcome to come over here. Please do also like and subscribe this one. <laughs> My God. Until he goes to the other side, he visits, he looks at all the little pools and And this and they've discovered it, they've just yeah, it's my YouTube, Dark Strange Neko. I'm on I'm on I'm live on YouTube and Rumble right now. So they discover that the pools are the wrong sizes or something. Oh, they just, you'll see the water. You'll see it. He's taking he take, pictures. Yeah, he's taking pictures of everything. Yeah. Can he come out there and just walk around without yeah. a warrant? Yeah, because it's can, it, it is a it's a it's a sanctuary it's right. fish and wildlife. They they go they are the ones that yeah. have jurisdiction over it, mm. and they can come out and. Is that because she's registered? She's registered yeah. as a five hundred one c three or whatever. Well, they're they're they have to register as a sanctuary there too. So oh, I see. They'll have some you know licensing they have to do in Florida. I and they see. got a call about, you know, bad conditions. And so they're going there to check it. <laughs> looks the like water. a Look turtle. At the water. Ew. Oh looks Look like a that. turtle soup pot. And there's no covering over these, like no shading. So in the summertime, those t those tortoises just roast. They, boil, you know, they roast. This is, they this is turtle protection, like in rescue? Well, I, I feel like they might need to be rescued from this place. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Like, what, what, why wouldn't Wait. you just take the turtles to, like, a you know, I don't know, release them? Where, where, yeah. it's Florida. Can't turtles just live in Florida? Yeah, Can't they, they just live in too. a swamp? I don't understand why you wouldn't just take them to the Everglades and let them go there. Why would you bring them here and put them in a hot tub? Uh, I'm waiting to see a couple breaking out, like one of those old freaking World War II movies. They're plotting. <laughs> <laughs> it's like some so stalling weird. 13 shit. This is this is so strange. 
I mean, I don't care how people live. Like, if you want to live like this, I don't care. Like, live however you want. I mean, when you put your kids and you know, there's a four year old put, that's still in yeah. diapers. Yeah. Well, I mean, she shouldn't be in diapers. There definitely are questions of like, is this a neglect situation? It's certainly not oh, the safest kind of area for the, a toddler. It, but, well, and, and the kid's running around talking. I mean, the kid is starved for effect for any sort of attention. Like she's like all about this game, like this warden. Like she's talking to him, showing him stuff. It's, but I also have to say that I stand up for people's rights to live how they want, and that includes yeah. with their kids. That includes with their kids. Like if you don't want to live in a house with four walls and you guys want to camp out and live in a yurt or whatever, you have a right to do that. People yeah. have a right to live how they want to live. Man, having so, reptiles around a little kid like that. I mean, it's just a scene yeah, for this. But she supposedly has a life threatening illness, but well, she's around. There's all a lot that of questions. Down. There's yeah. a lot of questions about this particular case, but in general, oh, I yeah. support the right of people to live how they want without interference <clears throat> from the government. Uh, the government doesn't always know best. Uh, but we can look at this as citizens and go, mm, it's probably uh, we, not a we good have, idea. We have Mennonite Amish communities around, you know, and I mean, <laughs> you know, if you start if you start interfering and saying, hey, the government gets to say those communities disappear too. So right. True. Exactly. Exactly. And you know the the but Amish are, but do are they things like this. That's oh, a problem. lot of them, they yes. A lot Actually, of some of them, here, yes. They, they live. So, they live pretty nice out here. In we live near Amish country, and there's a lot of, um, you know, people who will tell stories about horses being neglected and some broke. You know, there you you drive by some properties that are seriously in need of repair and stuff, but people leave them alone because that's what America's about. Leave me alone. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we have plenty of like small you know out of the way like little burnt down looking houses that you know are out in the middle of nothing i mean these are places that obviously people live in <laughs> i've ran uh, i've ran up on some properties as a teenager i got shot with some uh, salt rock for thinking a house was abandoned <laughs> one time. yeah that was a lot of fun this is after they cleaned it up. Okay, I just got PTSD watching that phone creep over the edge because it made me think <laughs> of the tanning salon. Uh, the turtle's like, don't take pictures of me while I'm <laughs> I'm not dressed. <laughs> oh, this is uh, strange. It's just interesting. You hear so much about the play. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Peeping on the turtles. Quit peeping on the turtles, you turtle perv. <laughs> Here we go again. He popped it up, and he was like, "It was like, hell no, Megan." <laughs> for those of you in Larry's chat, if you're looking for my channel, I see a couple of you are. I'm dropping it in the chat again. You can come on over, and uh, make sure you like and subscribe while you're here. Would love to have you. Um, what is he doing? Hey, why, why is he standing by this one turtle tub? I think so he's maybe taking notes or something. He's he's interested uh, in this tub for sure. Are there actually turtles in there? Because yes, I still yes, haven't seen are. a turtle. Yeah, they're under the water. You can't really see them. And he's and unfortunately, it's you know body cam footage, so it's on his chest and looking straight out and not down into the water. Yeah. yeah, they need to put those body cams on their heads yeah, or something. Angle, man, yep. What's that? man yeah. you need those Apple uh, glasses or something. <laughs> you you got to be like James O'Keefe. Go to the OMG store and buy yourself some of those glasses and Could everything you, you look at. Imagine the showing up with a bunch of Appleware. <laughs> yes, it would be hilarious. Uh, <laughs> what is that noise? Is that, that what his body cam footage like? that, that does that every when they're all, when they're on a call like that? It does that every so often. I don't. Even like police video does that. Ah, oh, this is something else. This is, I mean, what is that brown thing? Is that a house? I think that's. I think that's their outhouse. No, no, no. I don't mean the shed. I mean the thing behind that. The brown. The it big, looks like it's sided. One. Yeah, it's sided. That with... one I think is what they were supposed to be building, like the that they claimed that, but they didn't have permits for. Wait, so the bucket is the infamous bucket? Is that what I mean? Yeah. Oh, no. Which which bucket? The bucket right there, that shit. <gasps> Shut up. That oh, is no. not the compost toilet. 
You'd be like, I go out here, I go to the bathroom, I get tetanus. No, no, no. When she said she had that, I thought she meant she had like a real composting toilet. That's a bucket. No, that can't be it. You guys, that can't be it. That can't be it. I've seen a composting toilet. That's not what it looks like. No. It, no, it, people say no. There's no way. No, come on. It can't be. It can't be a bucket. No, I, I refuse to believe that. I refuse. <laughs> I refuse. I refuse. Uh, I refuse to believe that. That is not true. Her. Those are damn dirty lies. I don't believe it. Something's yes. damn dirty over there. <laughs> if that can't be yeah they do wait. have you do get to they, they do no wait people are telling me yes that is it the chat I is like that oh is yeah that outhouse. is it that is the outhouse, the <laughs> but, it's not even, the outhouse. but it's not even behind anything it couldn't be hey, you, when you have an outhouse you put it behind a little you know that's, a wall. that's their poop shed yeah well. don't all Get right, poop shed. Adding shed. it to the list of Lego projects. Poop shed. <laughs> poop shed. Turtle purgatory. <laughs> it's their shit shack. Poop <laughs> shit shack. I'm gonna make a sign for that. The shit shack. Oh my god. It's her homemade composting toilet, but she. Oh Lord, the shit shack! Oh my God, the shit shack! You guys, I can't get over. His car. I cannot get out. over the oh, wait, shit here's shack. Here's people. People. So are now they're here. Yeah. Oh boy. Right, okay. Oh, that's why they're walking. I was like, I'm gonna skip them walking otherwise. <laughs> but now, if they're people, that's okay. Yeah, they show up. Um, all three of them are there. So you probably can fast forward a little bit to get to that. He just goes out to the truck. Yeah. I saw some people. It comes back. There's, there's a person right there. Now this must be John. Yeah. I hear he walks with the cane. It's hot today, but at least it's a dry hot. Yeah, I'm waiting for the sun to get over there, and then I start feeding. Hey, I don't blame. Yeah. You. I'm investigating Ken Holmes. Fish one. Okay. Baby. Okay. She All has right. a life-threatening metabolic disorder. Okay. All right. No Drink. Problem. She gets a fever. She can die. Okay. So we try not to catch it. We have, Does this have we close captions? Hand -to -hand sanitize. This is Monday, all the Wednesday, food. Friday. Underneath all this stuff, you'll find more lettuce and vegetables. Do you have uh, like a refrigerator to put it? Or? Yeah. Yeah. We normally feed it out every day. Yeah, because I get it on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But when I don't use it, I get it to a hot side. They come and get it. So I'll be here to get it tonight. We have an extra. Okay. Did they leave the kid in the car yeah. in the hot? But we, we, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we take that one to feed. They also feed hay, and they feed Missouri pellets, which is exactly what they need. Yeah. And just to let you know, I'm, I'm uh, vaccinated, uh, but who knows? I, you know, anybody right. can get anything. No, so yeah, if you want to keep I, isolated, yeah. And the, um, she had RSV from him. And RSV <laughs> caused her. <laughs> RSV caused her to have to have a feeding tube put in, and then she started having seizures. So she's never had that before. So now. So, so let me. Ask, what agencies have come here? I, I've I've listened to a little of the the YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, so, three times he called CPS. He then turned me into the consumer. I have it right here. Um, and are you still? I saw that you have a nonprofit. Have you gone through and and did all that to get a true nonprofit yes. status? Yeah, Hi, honey. Yep. I Hi. Have EMI. What's it called? EMI. Now. How are you? So let me get this straight. She says she can't take her out of the okay, car, yeah. and then she does. Yeah, she couldn't shake it. Couldn't shake his hand because of her disease. But the little girl runs yeah. around barefoot yeah. everywhere, yeah. and is around all these they have free roaming chickens. Ducks. She'll be right there, honey. She'll be right there. I'm gonna get you, love. Just a minute. Don't oh, you dropped that. something. She's very shy. Hey, I'll I'll be right back. I'm just gonna let it run, okay? He turned me okay. into okay. right. He turned me into these people. Hey, Matt, I gotta call you back. It it wasn't super important. Just uh, uh about entombing gophers. You'd go uh, an officer would be sent to that complaint, wouldn't they? If someone complained about entombing gophers. 
Cool. What? Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's all I want because, uh, you know, different complaints. The uh, dispatch closed it out, but I think they got different info from us. And who knows? They might have said in too mean just to get us to go. So, but <laughs> too mean gophers? Did you say too mean? No, you gophers? enjoy your NASB. I don't know. <laughs> all right, bro. See ya. Sorry about that. So he's done a whole month worth now of videos on me. He's accused us of him sexually molesting her, which could have made her re end up in being removed. If they would have removed her, her metabolic team said it probably would have killed her because the first thing DHS is CPS well, is well, shoot her well, up. Well, hey, anybody can sue or complain about anybody. Oh, I know. You could, you could right now lodge a complaint to me saying I was unprofessional to you and call my... Doesn't mean it's true, right? Right. So... If it, it it's e easier said than done, but but you have ducks like water off ducks back. Mm -hmm. If it's not true, don't worry about it. Right. Now you have your daughter to worry about. I understand, but if the child protective custody came here three times yep, they and left it her. yeah, so don't worry about what anybody else says. You got to deal with the harassment a little, but yep. um, a lot. Yeah. So <laughs> it's a lot. Right? So but don't I mean don't don't listen to it. If yeah. it's not true, don't listen to it. However, at the same token, you do have some, I, I don't know if, who complained. I don't know. We do. Yeah. The there was a lady here this morning. What was her name? Her name was Alicia Hill. And okay. she said that, she said, I'm outside your property and I saw a video, a Hale's video. Yeah. About your property and I, I've got a $1,500 grant for you and I've got food for you and this and that. Well, Yes, she said, I want to see your tortoises right now. Where are they? And I'm like, I don't even know who you are. Yeah. Why would I let you on? And yeah, I, yeah. I don't blame you. Yeah. She, they don't realize. He uses his paws. Okay, can yeah. I? No, I, I am, no, I understand what's going on. And so. I was, I was, I have been licensed in the state of Florida. Class three field a day, class three all it was years ago. That's why you said Lacey. And I'm yeah. like, well, it's only because I, I I looked at your um uh, oh, up your phone it. number. No, your phone number, and uh, it it said Lacey Wilson. I think. Yeah, that's my old number. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. My, old, my middle name. I used to go by my middle name. Uh, you got a bunch of names. Yeah, <laughs> and that's a long story. Oh, um. Anyway, I used to have class three field a day, class three all. I had mountain lions, fox, wolves. We had everything. We were in North Fort. Uh, North Fort Myers and Fort Charlotte. That was years ago. Mountain lions. I worked at, I lived in, worked at Octagon. <laughs> oh my God. Years. Hey, that might explain the big Lauren. cat thing that, you know, yeah. was posted. I know Maybe. how to take care of animals. My biggest thing is, sir, and I'm going to be honest, I'm going to fly under the bus and I don't freaking care. It's him. Yeah. Is he, he, is he an ex too? My ex was an ex. Yeah. And I have told him. I'm just going to tell Who is her ex-husband, John? Who does he need to be? I've told him what I want. Is John the ex-husband? I have no idea. I, I don't know. Well, anyway. well, maybe if he goes around with me. May have been uh, at one point. So, I, so I what, what, I, what, what, what I was getting with, like, like everything else could be wrong. If I get to send, and this is normally what happens, especially in the neighborhood or. I'll get to you, honey. Let me, I'm gonna well, just yeah, get yeah, her out yeah, of the car go. already. Okay. My God. Just get her out. She wants to come out. She wants to be free, huh? Yeah. Even he's feeling uncomfortable, right? He's like, get her out already. Yeah, get her out. Yeah. Do you want to roll where the kid's here? Yeah, I don't recall yeah. the actual timestamps on it, but the kid runs around in different places. So, I mean, I'm just asking. You want me to just keep rolling before I... Yeah, I mean it's fine. I mean I it think. is it it's a legal document, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's public records. So. It's all right. I mean the intention is not to dox some kid. I mean, and she's no, no, posted I mean, her it, picture. She's posted so, her picture um, online. I've already seen her. You know. So what she's, happens is a lot a of times cutie. you get neighborhood complaints or exes. Hold my hands. You're gonna step in dirt in glass. You're not running on. Glasses barefoot. That's that, that, that absolutely messed up right there. I mean, wait, yeah. How about I, some I, shoes? Yeah, not put shoes on the kid or anything. But hey, I'm gonna set you down. 
you may step in glass shoes. or whatever. I think they do put shoe. I think they do put some shoes on it. I mean, but you're talking like but, reptiles, chicken shit, all of that stuff. All well, over and the they place. were just out. They must. She must have had shoes on at some. They were out somewhere. Where? where right? Where Dude, were the shoes? Dangerous man. Oh, this is very. It could be like my kid and kick them off when you put them in the car seat. Yeah, that's so. what mine does. She does. I have to <laughs> stick them back on her a million times. Right, that's true. They do that. Yeah, but I mean, I'm not going to take her out and stick her near like rep again, reptiles and chicken shit. And right, stuff. reptiles and yeah, exactly. Uh. It's time for windows on the tanning salon. My name's Mr. Ken. Go plan your, go plan your swing. Go play. Come here. You want to go play? Go play. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I got your food on my chair. Shut up. Harley. All right. We're staying. Don't go to the road. No, Mama. No. Oh, my God. Come on. Yeah, she calls Does she go to the, the Does she go to the road? No. Yeah. I mean, yeah. But is that something normal that she does? Is go to the road? Yeah, yeah. But she claims she's a runner. Yeah, that's what. Uh, remember the Jeremy always driving too fast down the road. Yeah. That's not good. That's cr well. That's crazy. I mean, again, I can't imagine letting my four-year-old roam free. Not out there. No, not anywhere. I got a road close by. My kid's yeah, not getting out too. without she me right there. Likes running though. Huh. Yeah. So normally what happens, I get a complaint, X, uh, uh, X's are big on complaining about their X's. Mm -hmm. Not that that's what happened here, yeah, but, you know but you know, bad, bad breakups yep. and uh, bad neighbors, uh, you know, button heads with neighbors. So we'll get complaints. They'll throw, they'll throw okay. everything at the wall. But, um, you know, if there's a valid violation, which I did find some today, um, I got to address it. Yep, so, no, um, I'm glad. but yeah, it's some, so. it's some things that I think you can easily fix. Now I see you have sulcatas and in the video, past videos, you had a Herman and it looked like some, um, uh, maybe some red foots. Did you have yep. a red foot? Yep. I do. They're in here. Oh, you forgot to open up the field. You ran out of them. Sulcatas are red I don't know anything about turtles. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm a little more worried about the heat with the... Um, it doesn't... It, they're cooking, ma'am. Because of that tar, they're, they're the brown cooking. tarp. Yeah. You're making turtle soup in here? Is that what we're doing? I kept it shut because I didn't want it to rain while I was gone. Yeah. So you just have them too? No, there's a Herman. He's in here. You want me to slide this all this way? It, it ate one of the Russians. Yeah, we're going to empty this out anyway. Oh, my God, he's right here. oh yeah, it looks like he's... He isn't? 
love in there. Let's see, he's here somewhere. Roll again. I'm putting this, they're going, gonna go back in the little pen out there. Yeah. But until we can keep that animal from eating them, I don't want them to eat. I'm having a problem building them. Yeah. Well, what? Well, it's it's not my business what health health wise happened to me, but uh, I saw a few videos. You look like you were getting around good, like a year ago. Yeah, I didn't anything. I I worked this whole thing. Oh, really? I actually lost fifty pounds working on it. Yeah, you look bigger too. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've busted my ass trying to get this stuff in order. Yeah, well, I don't know. Now, we had, How big is he? Is he smaller than the oh? Yeah, just like the little ones. We had other redfoots. If you've seen videos from prior, those redfoots are gone. The leopard is gone. I have one leopard back there, but all my other tortoises I gave to a friend. Um, he what? Was supposed to let me get them back. She Careful, you're going to get sand in your eye. She gave them to a friend? Them. So, would she say she had left leopard? They and. Were gone. Yeah. Why, why would she give them to a friend if she was rescuing them? I'm confused. I mean, her. Careful, he's little. Is he? Her habitat is awful. Yeah, like, you should look some of these turtles up and look at what their habitat should look like. I won't step on them. I'll be nice. He's got it. No way. I just seen him yesterday. Oh, he's peeking out at us, saying, "What do you? What's all the fuss about?" Yeah, normally, <laughs> little turtle him peeking out. Making in and out of there really well. He's, and he's so, moves around. Apparently, that, one of them tries to get out. These tortoises here, yeah. that's that's fine for this because remember, it's got to be he's the biggest one, mm -hmm. so it's got to be two his length and two his width. So okay. obviously, that's fine. And the size is the only thing that worries about me on this is because what well, if you had. It can't breathe, but I guess I need to put holes in the bottom, more holes. Well, the hay's not bad either, because they like going into it. Yeah, but. they love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, and I didn't step on them. No. Yes. We've had Napoleon for years. He just ain't growing. He just so, ain't growing. so what would be ideal with this is that it's good to, for them to have sunshine too, but if they if like but partial, we're... you had a partial shade over it. Yeah. So part of it shade. So if they want to get in the shade, they could, and if they want to be in the yeah. sunlight, they could. The you only, get you. They have to have an option. The only reason they weren't open today is because it rains. And yeah. If we're not here, and we knew we weren't going to be here. Yeah. yeah, this morning I had an eye doctor's appointment. And I had to go to the courthouse. I had to apply for that thing, and they didn't give it to me. Yeah. They won't give it to me. What, what won't they give you? A no harassment order of protection uh, order against that bastard. Uh, He's allowed to do anything he wants and say anything he wants. He's called me a child molester. It's America, ma'am. That I beat her right in front of the whole town. He so why don't you... Uh, selling dope. I'm going to let the talk. If, if you hire a lawyer, he it seems like we're, he has some money. We're going to, yeah, well, that's what we're doing now. So, yeah. I'm going to let the dogs out. Okay. They don't bite. I don't, I don't, I, I, I get, little, I get along with most animals. Yeah, and when I knocked on the door, I heard him barking. You gave me wildlife, supposed to so, tell me I should um, do somebody. And, and the same way, the <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're so. Here, let's do the water tortoise. Tur uh, what do you have in a strange uh, water turtle? Yeah. I, oh, he's got money. You can take him. I brought two red ears with me from Iowa. Well, he seems so to how believe long, uh, how, When did you come from Iowa? I've been here for years. All right, so you yeah, lived in... Don't scare me, guys. I know I need a permit to take in any... So those were yours. You had them. Legal for years. Vices. Okay. Mine. How long have you had them? For? <laughs> yeah. Wait, your chat keeps going away. Watching here or on Larry's channel is the same. Nobody is paying attention to us. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is the chat trying to get my attention? It's is something going on. All right, let's get over to the super chats and see what's okay. going on because maybe what's they're trying on? to get my attention. Jen Hale. Uh, says post office is the old gas station. Yes, we we heard about that. That's uh, that's interesting. Proud attorney of two NL 
It says North Otter Creek Road. Uh, North, yeah, I think Legal Vices is like, yeah, I've been trying to get your attention. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. T.Y. Powers, thanks to the Super Chat, says Jeremy has the schoolhouse with the arched driveway. Um, and Paranoja says Megan took Tug and MG Law for a ride. Yes, we did. I made only one of them car sick. Lisa Wilson, thanks to the Super Chat, says it's the center of three major towns for storage shed. Uh, Edward M. Lockwood, thanks for being a member for 15 months. Vice Raid incoming. I saw that a while back. I did say welcome to the Vice Raiders. Marsha Yarbrough, thanks for the Super Chat, says to the right, Jeremy Schoolhouse. Oh, I must have missed it while we were driving. We were driving too fast. Tug was yelp. He was yakking out the window. It was a whole thing. Psychedelic Angel, thanks for the super sticker. Um, Bad Duck, thanks for the uh, the address. We got that. I think that's where we're at right now. One fifty one, whatever. Uh, Teresa gifted one Megan Fox membership. Thank you. Welcome to the Fox Den. Those of you who just got that. And another one. Thank you, Teresa. So generous of you. Appreciate that. John Boy says that's the schoolhouse that John H. has. I guess we went by the schoolhouse and didn't even notice it. Reno News Now, thanks for the super chat, says the 1A auditing com community needs to set up shop right outside of Lynette's home and record them all day long from public easements. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I don't recommend that. Don't do it. Don't do it. Nay, nay, Faxon. Uh, thanks for the super chat, says I hear banjos. This is awesome. <laughs> Just Shelley says there is Ohio video. The judge requested Jeremy not post it, and he agreed. Lisa Jewett thinks the super chat says add flipping adventures to get narration. What's flipping adventures? Anyone? Unhung hero thinks the super chat. YouTube is methed up today. Yeah, it, it really is. There's some kind of problem going on. Thanks for the membership, That's Carla Murray. Welcome to the Fox it's Den. Methed up. methed up. Yeah, methed up. It's very very methed, methed up. up. Jew Lisa Jewett, thanks for the super chat, says Jeremy posted F&W body cam. Jay redacted to keep child out of video. Um, let's see. Paranoja, thanks for the super chat. Meg, do you have a valid driver's license in that state? Do they know what they're dealing with when Megan Fox is out on the, on the road <laughs> with her crew for work activity? I don't know. I mean, you know, I think my New York license is reciprocal in Florida. I'm not sure. Tracy Fagan says, uh, rule of thumb in Florida is if there is water, there is alligators. Oh, that that's also true. Oh, yeah. It's nice. Shirley Gold, thanks for the super chat, says that smaller shed is where Lynette and the child live. Really? The shed? I thought they lived in the RV. Martha Pang, and but you guys are saying that's where John lives. They, yeah, so they don't live where, there together. Yeah. No, Martha they don't. Pangle, thanks to the super sticker. No. Okay, Kamat Red Queen says uh, the blue building with the curtains is LP and Child Home, and John live in the camper per Child Protection Services. Okay, yeah. so are they not together or together? Are they just well? They can't separate? be married because if they get married, he loses. I think his deceased wife's uh, social security. This is, so much, married, he'll lose it. this is so, so much stuff so I just not, can't follow. They're together, but not married. <laughs> okay. Nobody cares. Legendary Racing. Thanks for the Super Chat, Turtle Queen. The Tiger King sequel no one asked for. Turtle Queen. The Turtle Queen. Oh, I, I kind of want it now. Yes. Oh, Damocles of Syracuse. Thanks for the Super Chat. It says point of order. That would be Queen. Uh, Martha Pringle, thanks for the super sticker. I appreciate you. Prowess, thanks for the super sticker. I appreciate you as well. Uh, let's see. Damocles of Syracuse, point of order. That would be, I just read that one. Did he send it again? I don't know. I, I thought I got it. Okay. Chris Rowland, member for four months. Game wardens have leeway that other law enforcement don't. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. I like warrants. Get well, a warrant when, before you step on my sanctuary. property. When it's a sanctuary and you're registering with the state, you are probably agreeing to give up some of those property rights that otherwise a normal resident can, resident would not have to do that. So, I think, I think I'm going to read court documents and play that over right. there. I'm going to do dramatic readings of court documents while I play their shit. That sounds yeah. of court documents. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Misty Reed, thanks for the super chat. Says the little girl in her lot in her. And her live in the shed with the curtain on front. John lives in the big camper, big building house she is supposedly building. Okay. Uh, thanks for the $5 super sticker, Wilka Miller. And Lisa Jewett says you are literally verbatim echoing what Jeremy has said about turtle purgatory. 
Yeah. So it, it doesn't look like a great place for turtles. I got to say, I am saying thanks to the super chat. What is she rescuing them from? That's my question. When there's an entire Everglades that they could just run around and be happy in. I don't understand well, why are, she has to these rescue are tortoises. Them. These are tortoises. Where is she getting them from? I no, I mean, you know, we're are talking they about wandering like, in from the ocean. Like the, There's I mean, well, like the leopard, just land turtles. Yeah, big land, land turtles. Like a like the leopard is what a savanna, Africa kind of. Well, what turtle. what are these? Are people buying these things and then just loosing them on the neighborhood? Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> All right, keep legal vices says keep reading. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Kim K, thanks for the super <laughs> chance. Says the toilet is a bucket hose in a bottle with water. Yes, that's. Oh no. No, please don't tell me that. I, I, no, <laughs> Teresa make. Finn, Teresa Finn, thanks for the super chat says Megan, she uses a bucket and then dumps it on land. What? Uh, Shirley Gold, I, thanks for the super you. chat. Megan, it's a real bucket. It has a blue tarp. Oh, dear Jesus. That's the beautiful outdoor bathroom. She said she knew. Colleen, a uh, fee toward shit stack. Uh, shit stack Legos, you mean the shit shack? Uh, D Robertson, thanks for the super chat. Says the poo bucket came after this video. Arian, the vegetarian, says she bought this from Jupiter Estate after the three men who inherited it, Mars, Pluto, and Mercury, ate each other fighting over it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Arian, the ve vegetarian, says save that super chat for Tug. <laughs> Shed in front of uh, John where she lives. Okay, thank you for that. Laura Wilk, thanks to the super chat uh, or super sticker. Max Bang, thanks to the super chat. Mountain lions, turtles, shit shack, and poo bucket. Redneck bingo. Who's got the bingo card? Does anybody have a bingo card for today? Because this is a crazy show. Crazy times. Crazy times. Crazy times indeed. Crazy times indeed. <laughs> there we go. There it is. Carrie D, thanks for the super chat. John is X, but divorced SSDI benefits better. I gotcha, I gotcha. Fluff Nutta, thanks for the super chat, says I'm taking deep breaths. Whoosh, as I see her toss her forcibly on her hip as she leaves to get shoes. Um, uh, Grifter Wannabe says, Megan, check your locals. I have put the IRS determination letter. She has a real nonprofit. Okay, yeah, great. She does. I will. I will check it. Shirley Gold says, Megan, that shed with the blue curtains is home. Q Revere, uh, thanks for the super chat, says, 45 minutes behind, slight pushback. Five people in power said good things about a man who did a bad thing. That's not a cover-up. Love your work, though. Uh, it got him out of trouble. That literally got him out of a criminal yep. situation that he should have had to actually go to jail for or something or register on a list or something. Uh, and also, he got to keep his law license. Uh-oh. We've got a Lego spill. Oh, no. Lego spill. No. Stay. No. This is okay. this is hilarious. So uh, YouTube is actually recommending me in the middle of the live stream that I'm on to go to DUI's channel. <laughs> DUI guy's channel and watch this. Oh, my God. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to absolutely <laughs> kill him. He comes on for an hour and a half and then leaves it running on his site. He's siphoning <laughs> off all my viewers. Uh, am I, I'm not going to get credit for it either, probably. Uh, that's it. All right. Uh, Legal Vices wants me to check my Twitter DMs. <laughs> Wait, Q Revere thinks the super chat says 45 minutes behind, slight pushback, five people in power. Oh, I already read that. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I disagree. <laughs> I I personally think I personally think that it is definitely circling the wagons. It's well, circling the wagons. Circle the wagons. Yep. And uh, that is a cover up. It is they wouldn't do it for you. They wouldn't show it. Five <laughs> judges wouldn't come to court for you. We've got tortoise queen. Oh, I'm gonna ask AI to make me a <laughs> living in the shed named the tortoise queen I'm gonna see what it is. from legal vices we have the tortoise queen oh my god this is so funny i can't i can't even oh jeff you kill me janice wing wingfield thanks to super chat she keeps the tarp over the tortoise to keep the straw dry to make it last longer Okay. Yeah. Uh, Leo Ford, thanks for the super chat. Hi from New Zealand. Is that what NZ is? Sweet. New Zealand. That's awesome. Zealand. Candace Bingham, thanks for the super chat. Tug, I've been trying to reach you. Jeremy said we should chat. It's about the adopted child. Tug, how does she get a hold of you? 
Write me either. You can hit me up on Twitter if you're there. At that umbrella, not at that umbrella guy. You'll be hitting up a food critic. You can tell um, <laughs> by, by follower count. He'll be like, what the what? Or email me, granularheaven at gmail.com. It's on my about page, too. I didn't see any emails in my, uh, my uh, stuff, so if it didn't come through, try me again. Okay, let's see. Talking about trying to reach you. Okay, we got that. So now we're at another Janice. There are leopard tortoises and have spotted shells. Okay. Robert right Roberta Singer, thanks for the super chat. Now, Roberta came is still in Larry's chat, but her super chat came here. So that's cool. All right. So no, um, the super chat will show oh. up in the you see all chats. The super chat went to Larry. What? Have I been reading Larry's super chats? Pro probably. <laughs> oh my <Yeah>. god <laughs> all right no nope, not doing it i'm not reading any super chats from larry's channel you guys want your super chats read you got to come over here to where the actual work is being done because larry just left it running oh my he, god i don't think he meant to do it i don't think he meant to do it uh yeah well you guys are gonna have to yeah. learn the hard way your super chats are not getting read if they're on larry's channel get over stop. here on my I channel if in your stream yard if you can stop his I up can't. At top, up at the top, I, there should be your little YouTube icon, and then there should be another one next to 